fuck, I can't build mitts. That'll do. That'll do. Let's That'll get on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Yes, so we actually get right back into you guys fighting off a pair of ropers. And the beginning of that is going to be Rhiannon, who is coming in. on the right screen. Fucking, fucking... Every time. Every, every time. time. I'm just... I mentally prepare myself to start, and it's just not where my mind is. Oh, now, now we're going to see if the game freezes for your computer. Because this is the map we have issues with. God I think because we got rid of most of the, of the black screen. It should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, really? Interesting. Yeah. So, you think that may cause some lag? Yeah. Probably. No shit. Ah, uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, you are over here by a pair of tentacle raping ropers. Just, I spoke and realized I was on mute. <laughs> I am a fool. No! Cinema Fantasia, I know where this is going. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. However, never mind. I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a Ugandan Knuckles situation, but I just, I'm on high alert for it. Are you fucking that kidding is. me? It's you too, Max. I swear to God. Do you want my, do you want me to commission you a f hundred times just to draw more Ugandan knuckles? Commission the other guys. Uh, I like your style. I am, I am many now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Alright, well. I finally figured out how to do Shadow Jitsu, whatever. Yes. You are the entire animal kingdom in one thing. So. I am. I wow. am. You, wow. Awesome. But no, we yeah, actually... Yeah. Bear no jitsu! Oh my god. Don't give me these ideas. Um, but yeah, Viano, time to bear up, son. I do. Nice. Straight to the point. Couple of claws. This netting... Leads me to believe this creature is stunned because of Goro. I believe that's the case. So you have advantage on both of these hits, and you're going to miss both times. You're not oh. going to be able to <laughs> pierce through his rubbery hide. Which is a shame, but uh, we move on. Uh, Hidia back here kind of is still very, very beaten up. Um... And Alistair back there is kind of looking to her, and she's looking back at him, and he's just like, D -d Don't look at me! I, I do a bit of magic, but I mostly just make toys and shit. And now on to Rowan. What? <laughs> well, on to your turn. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh... Hang on. Uh, so, Rowan, Malerange. Uh... I'm not sure if you're right. grappled or anything. I know Alfie has been grappled and she's been reeled in. I should really make a note of that. I uh, think both are. Yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. Um, so yeah, you if are. I'm grappled, yeah, can I cast spell still? Yeah, absolutely. Because you can attack Wait. still. Nice. So I might make this piece of shit let go of me. Oh. I'm interested. Okay. A good old thunderclap. Okay, very nice. Um, so yeah, he's going to make that con save. He's got a bit of that con. But he's going to fail. Yay. Yes. Alright. So... Push away? Uh, no, it's just damage. Okay. Yeah, it's just damage. And is that all things within five feet of you? Uh... I think so. Excellent. Why does the thingy count? Uh, Alfie is too far away. However, that tentacle around you is going to count, and it is going to be exploded as the blood vessels basically burst as you just ripple this shockwave out. His that tendril does just turn to paste around you, and you're no longer grappled. Good. Good. Remember, Rowan says no to tentacle hands <laughs> No. Well, Rowan says no to non-consensual tentacle hands high. All you need, what? all you need <laughs> is a more charming approach from a tentacle monster. You know, that's that's really what. So ask 
first. Yeah. You just need to remember to love and care for your tentacle monster. Exactly. I mean, it's basically a dildo when you look at it. It's just a really bumpy dildo with an eye on it. If Everything's it... a dildo if you're brave I enough. I have myself to blame. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you're brave enough. I'm burning the world, everyone. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. If you want to do that, you go back to the deacon and you work with him. No, fuck that. Then fuck that. <laughs> burning the world may be out of your reach. But anyway, Rowan, you have got your movement. It may provoke an attack of opportunity, but you can move around and you can do some shit if you want to. Uh. Hmm. Was your thunderclap a cantrip? Yep. I thought so. If you've got Misty Step, you can Misty Step out of there. Uh, I don't. Okay. Um, Do you have anything on got, your? Yeah, anything. We got thunder step. That's a good spell. Don't have that either. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> anything? And what good are you? <laughs> no, anything between your your always forgotten harp. I know your wand of lightning won't be able to help you because that's an action. But you know. Um. You can heal him. What? Yeah. 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 Uh, does anyone need a healing word? You kind of need it. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can reach me. Ah, so I do. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, I've just noticed my HP. Ah, yeah. that is not good. Yeah, <laughs> check yourself before you write yourself. Yeah, heal yourself. Um, I'm going to have to do this quite high because I'm running out of mood range. So you want to get high? Oh, terribly. <laughs> don't uh, get high. Don't forget the bad. Oh god, animate objects, sentient it. towel, fuck, it's all- I just see all of the references and how they can be done. Uh, but is that healing for yourself, Owen? Yeah, that's for themselves. Wonderful. Yeah, perfect. You, uh, pop a b- bit of healing word your way, and, uh, that's nice enough. The Roper leaves Alfie tucked in behind himself while he turns his, like, attention towards you. Not a fan that you're out of his grasp. Um, Goro of the Mountain, it's your turn. Alright, um, do you guys want me to stun this thing again before I commit? It is up to you, my brother. We're gonna uh, rest after this anyway. I've already wasted one stun on it, so I'm just gonna kill it. Spot plan. If you can. And you will hit it. That's a great hit. Well, these things happen. But hey, you won't have the shot problem of hit missing. Yeah, no, that's another hit. Very nice. That is a miss. Okay. Uh, he is not dead, but you're you chipping at it. Up? Excuse me. You've definitely left these blotchy, purpley marks on its uh, paley flesh from where you've struck it. But Shinten Toru, time to weigh in. This creature ha- is uh, stunned. FYI, it's not stunned anymore. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Not stunned, so you may have to wreck with some shit. How's it looking? It's looking beyond bloodied. It has not lost any of its four tentacles, or how many tentacles? Uh, six. But it has been taking a lot of various sums of damage, so it's definitely bruised and bleeding from all sides. Dark blood spilling out between its vicious teeth. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'll just reckless attack it. Okay. That is a reckless attack. Yes, that is a hit. Yeah. That does a great sum of damage, but the creature isn't dead yet. Second attack. Same spell. Yes, that is a hit. I'm pretty sure it's going to die, and it's dead as you cut that dildo in half and you chop it down to size. Please don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just assumed you'd stop seeing Papa Roach, to be honest. <laughs> Is it half movement if I run through here or not? Um, it's it's about two inches, two feet deep, rather. So you may be can't waiting. Fly over it. You can't no, fly. No tiny levitate. Yeah, you can levitate, Toru, but you can kick off one edge of the pool to the other to like not have to, you know, deal with that whole situation. Okay, can I do way. that and get next to it then? Uh, you can read the rules of levitate as follows, and move as far as it says you can move. 
um, which I believe is 20. I've never actually looked at it. I keep meaning to. Yeah, you know, it may be worthwhile. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what you're doing whenever you're indoors, if you've not figured it out. Um, no, yeah, I got this. Okay. Um, yeah, you can... With it. Okay. One creature, which is you, up to 20 feet, and remain suspended for the duration. Raise vertically up to, up to 20 feet. Well, what can I just, like, levitate and kick off so I move off? From the ground, so I, I can't control where I go, but I can control if I stay up in it. You know what? I'm just gonna run through the water. There we go. That's fair. Damn it! Only lets you float up. Huh, I didn't know that either. We both is learned only, a little something today. Is it only half movement? Um. Yes, it'll be half movement. So every okay. square in there will require ten feet from you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hang on. There you go. Man. Alright, awesome. You're in the middle of yeah. this very cold puddle. Yeah. I'm not that... affected by cold, it's fine. I got my booties on. Yes, yes you do. Yes you fucking do. Yes you fucking do. Now, were these... These are the boots of the Winterland. Yeah. Yeah, they fucking were, weren't they? Toru, mm. you're not going in water. You're going to be walking across thin patches of forming ice. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, these boots carry with it the power of winter. Plus, where did you put your frost rune into? It's around my neck. Oh, yeah, I can turn pools of water into ice. Yes. But I think that's an action. Maybe if you don't... Yeah. Maybe if you put in your booties, that's all associated with I can't, with because yeah. the boots are already magic. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, no. You're... You're... Sort of familiarity with all these rune stones seem to resonate in a very helpful little way, as it is showing right now. Without like all the full attunement to make it happen, it is allowing your boots to freeze just the top parts to allow you to walk over. Okay, I'll. Uh, I'll I, so can I get there with my full movement then? This is basically no longer difficult terrain. Yeah. Okay then. Boop. Awesome. Cracking. Thank you. Okay. Really? Your, your movement is 40 feet? Yeah, yeah. he's an armored movement, yes. a barbarian. A barbarian, yeah. Um, now it's... An, an armored movement. I've yeah. Got, oh, actually, if that's the case, yeah, I've got armor on, so, and I've been like, wrong the whole the time. Plate. Yeah, I know, probably. Let me have a look. Carry on, I'll sort this out. I'll move yeah. back if I need to. Well, actually, it is Alfie's turn, and if you're feeling... Oh, I just got skipped. No, yeah, Zar it was Zaron's Oh, turn. sorry, Zaron. We got, we got a lot confused by booties. That's all right. I'm gonna move up here and I'm gonna target the tentacle that's grabbed Alfie. If you aren't wearing with, heavy armor. Okay. Uh, with my crossbow. Wonderful. That is not gonna be a hit. On either either of them. Uh, no, not on either of them. Oh it's, shit! It's not that you. What are, the fuck? It's not that you're missing. It is just the fact it's so rubbery. It kind of oh, shock okay. absorbs it, doesn't penetrate, and it just like spills off him. All right. Um, but no, yeah, uh, that's your turn. So Alfie's turn. Alfie. Okay. Um, oh, wish that, okay. What's up? I was gonna say she was gonna heal him. How bad's Rowan looking? Are they looking all right now? They're looking beyond bloody, but I guess you're right. It is your time to do something. But firstly, Alfie's just gonna be like a. No, get off me, you creepy, filthy thing. I don't want you near me. Just for lols. And then you can do a turn. Okay. So, like, percentile... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so Alfie's going to do a healing word on Rowan. Okay. Uh, so... at, yeah, at... I'm going to look at... Okay, hang on. Uh, do, do, do second level. There we go. Do do diddle do do. That'll be an extra six yeah, know, points. Yeah. No, cool, cool. No, five points. No, right. Okay. So, sixteen. Yep. Yeah. Fifteen. Sure. Fifteen. You got it. And then they'll do a sacred flame on a roper. Yeah, totally. Uh, roper will make a dex. It will fail and will take eight bits of radiant damage. Does not enjoy that. And then. It is its go. Um, so, not 
Its last bit of pain came from Alfie, so it's going to spend its first action to bring its bite down onto her. He's got disadvantage. Why is that? Because they're in the aura. Oh shit. Well, they also have advantage because she's grappled, so regular attack roll, and that's going to be a hit. Okay. Uh, that will be 21 points of piercing damage to little old Alfie. Oof. Okay. And then it's going to make a tentacle attack on you, Toru. Yeah. 26. Yeah. Um, you are automatically grappled. grappled. Yep. It cannot do anything else. Uh, it's then going to do a tendril attack back on Rowan. That will be a... Rude. Yep. Oh, oh God, shit. Sorry. Good, Sorry. Everything in Alfie's aura has this advantage, right? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Toru. You're not grappled. Cool. And Rihanna, uh, Rowan, you are still grappled on a 19. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes. Uh, however, uh, with its third tentacle, well, one is locked up with Alfie, the other tried, the other tried. Yeah, no. Um, then it will just create another tentacle to replace the one that was destroyed, and it ends its turn. Rian uh, Rhiannon. I'm gonna, oh, Go on, oh. bear him up. Yep, basically just turn up closer because I'm just to be on top of Toru. Okay. <laughs> just when you thought you got rid of the tentacle, it comes right back. Yep. <laughs> well, not a hit, unfortunately. Uh, cool. My bear. And no, neither of them are. No. Um. Yeah, well. Really. Logically, I could be able to care for a friend. With fuck. Yeah, it's just all of the pads from your huge paws just seem to be mostly what's. You're just pawing him at this point. You don't mean to. He's just what really a slippery. There. Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. He's just really slimy and slippery. What a paw bear. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> no. Such a poor little bear. No. <laughs> we keep going until someone laughs. What a poor <laughs> I'm smiling <laughs> outward. I'm oh. smiling outward. Oh, trying inside. Oh, no, I don't get it. I don't I'll get you it. When you're, it's I'll tell you when you're older. Do you want formal oh, ropers? I swear Christ. it's Rowan's turn. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Uh. Don't. Hmm. What are you typing? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, oh, yeah, we get it. I'm sure cool. YouTube will laugh with you, dude. I'm sure. You um, all three people, including four of us, which doesn't make sense. Okay, I, I see it now. Poor, poor play on words. Sorry, Clara. Yeah. You, you serious? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> dude, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Jeb Bush voice, please clap. I don't know who Jeb Bush is. Jeb Bush yeah. is... Yeah. Is he was a Republican Bay. nominee. Please make an action, Rowan. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what would be the most damaging, but that wouldn't hurt everyone else around. Uh... Hey, with your sword. did you know you have a lightning strike and it can go in a line? However, it may go through his tentacles. That is a possibility. Uh... Do it. Yeah, just if you if it's gonna go through anyone, make it go through me because then like, I've got resistance. Yeah, but if, if, if I shock the rope, then surely wouldn't everyone being held by the rope also be shocked? That yes. is a possibility. Yes, it might be a possibility. That's, that's so, how electricity works. Maybe, yes. Can I be yeah. a conductor? Interesting question. You're not Tommy. the right. You're not the right class. You're not sponge. You're not sponge. It is true. I'm related to sponge. <laughs> you are related to sponge. You're, you're not sponge. You are SpongeBob Shintentoru for sure. But wait, sponges aren't conductors. <laughs> yes, but if you do think about the conductiveness of electricity and all the other parts that come God, with it, it's shocking. <laughs> yeah. I'm covered in metal. Alfie isn't. That's yeah. That's all cool. Or I could just deafen everyone. No oh god, just just dissonant whisper it if you can or something. No, not yeah. nice. Yeah. Or just, or just swear at it. 
<laughs> it would be really funny when you watch it run away because it can only move 10 feet per round. Uh. Hmm. Did, did we establish whether or not I had a good wisdom like, like last session? Because I remember rolling to check. That might be a little bit meta. No, I'm just, I'm just saying because like, um, uh, I, I did an arcana roll like, last ah, session to just okay. determine a stat. Yes. Um, and, I, and I think it, I was checking for wisdom, was it? It has, yeah. it has got a mental capacity that seems surprising for a creature. It could be reasoned with, for sure. Right. If that's the case... Oh, no, I've used that spell slot. Damn it. Um, hmm. See, I could get creative with it. That's what I'm thinking. Um, oh, oh. I'm sure the uh, tentacle monster will really be interested in the creative ways you and he may go into the next situation. Oh, damn, that's wisdom as well. Ah, oh, How dare he have brains? <laughs> It's true what they say. Smart. Yeah, it's true what they say. All men's <laughs> brains are in their dicks. I take offence. <laughs> Fair that enough. Would just be, that would just be inconvenient as well. It would be very inconvenient. However, would it not be amazing if very when erect you became smarter? <laughs> I don't think that would happen, though. I think you're just... Oh, smart. for the love of... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying, what if you could look at a saucy picture and then you could, so you could ace actually, an exam. If, you, if your brain was there, it would just be like, ah, for like hours. Yeah. <laughs> to try to get over what the fuck just... I know. I... Uh, that was the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm sure you said worse things. Everything I can think of needs what? wisdom. No, that is... <laughs> Do you have any attack roll spells? <sighs> My only weakness, intelligence, no, not wisdom, even, not actual intelligence. <laughs> if you wanted to make a creature have intelligence, much. if you wanted something with intelligence saving foes, you should have become a psionic person from Xenophar, no, from Anerf Darkana. They what if got... you put like a shatter about here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah, very yeah possible. I could do that, that's, 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 a, that's a concept. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, and just to be sure that it does decent damage, I'm gonna go somewhat all out. Whoa! <laughs> she, oh. They're taking That's it to the max. Well, not really, but... <laughs> Alright, they're gonna make a con save. They fail. They're going to take... Um, now, yeah. 23. Now, this is different. This is not the thunderclap that originates from self. This is affecting... Uh, other areas, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, with that in mind, the tentacles shall not be blasted off you. However, the, his backside is sufficiently, like, ruptured in festering, like, pustules of exploded flesh behind him, and he does crawl out with agony. Um, ow! However, you will still continue to be grappled. Yeah, he, he does sound like a... Ow! <laughs> Definitely. Um, oh my god, sorry, sorry, I just looked at my character sheet and I've just remembered. Rowan still has a tress in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, so, you, yeah. <laughs> you got a bunch of mascots. Yeah, so the, the cat's probably still around Rowan's neck or something. Like, just, it looks like a, like a, like a fur collar. It's not. Oh, maybe why it's not, in Rowan's hood. Oh. Why, why not next turn? Why don't you see what you can do if you just punch it with your new mech hand? I don't want to break my new mech hand, though. And what and... if it's, like, mega powerful, though? Like, what if, what if it's, like, <laughs> rocket fist? <laughs> yeah, but, like, punching does require some level of strength behind it. Mm. Yeah, Roman but... has a strength of ten. Yeah, but Shiro had, like, that mega arm, and he didn't, like... <laughs> like, his strength was nowhere near as, as much as the, the output built. of the he fist was. He was broad than no, the other. No, he was jacked, but, like, the amount of strength output that the fist had compared to him was a bit It was a whole a arm. More. It was a Winter like, Soldier arm rather than yeah, just a fist. that's true as well. But Bucky's not as strong, like, as he is without that arm. Yeah, but he's got, like, you know... Should we cut off your whole arm and then, like, replace your whole yeah. arm? Yeah. No, oh, no. Okay, okay, just checking. Do you want to become a Warforged, Rowan? <laughs> no. Okay. 
Just I actually checking. made a wall forge, which is basically oh. under a 17. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> of course oh, you actually, did. That's kind of interesting. It is, but also... <laughs> I have no emotion. <laughs> but also... But I sing. But that, but because I gave you all the weeb yesterday, I was... You know, last week, I was confident you were weebed out. But no, you still got some weeb in you, so clearly you weren't that traumatized. Roman, well, you made an there's action. There's a difference between weaved and a meaty fucking Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> God, I know it pains you, but it makes me laugh how it pains you. Goro, it's your turn, man. All right, then. I'm going to dash. Okay. So I basically have 90 feet of movement. Yeah, you can move like a motherfucker. Which puts me here. Yeah. And thanks to Charger, I get an attack. Yeah, wonderful. Please, by all means, go for it. That is a hit. And that is some damage. I think he gets plus five as well to the attack damage. Uh, to the damage. Yeah, that's right, I do. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad you're keeping track of that. But no, excellent. That does a good hit, a good wallop to him. No, fantastic. Um, Shinten Toyo, your turn. Okay, I'm not grappled right now, am I? You're not. Can I? Can, no, can I try and grab their tentacles and tie them up well, around him? Hmm. He has one available tentacle, two, sorry, um, but the other two are grasping around Alfie and Rowan. Okay, and well, can I attempt to grapple him with his own tentacles? That is flavor. That That's a flavored grapple attempt, and I will allow that. Absolutely. He is not immune to the condition. So, I like the thinking there. So, okay. give me a uh, athletics check. Yeah, I basically just want to try and take the other tentacles out of commission as well. So. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see so... the check. Toru, you ace the check by over 20. You will <laughs> tie up his two tentacles into a bow in front of his mouth... And, yeah, I mean, I mean, he's still got two other tentacles there, which he can still attack and go out with, but because he's not immune to it, he is under the grappled condition, and yet grappling some other things. Um, okay, then can I just punch him? Uh, sure. Okay. Why right, was your action? Yeah, no, I, it was your action, so you can't do an offhand, as that's part of a action. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I'll just, I'll just like, flip him off. Y yep, the good old flip off never ceases to fail. Zaron, down to you, buddy. Okay, um... No, hang on. Uh, with that you can get there and, yeah, you can get there and glive him. Yeah, I'll do that. Glive! Just oh, Glaive sounds like an angry Jewish man. <laughs> I'm Glaive! Wow. Wow. That's one hit, and the other is a miss. Okay. No, oh, we're exceptional. Uh, Alfie's turn again. Uh, she is... Who is... Who's lower? Uh, you. Okay. She'll second level healing word me. Yeah, fair enough. Still got uh, an action, which she could spend to try and athletics her way out of this tentacle. She'd rather. I feel like Alfie would rather keep everyone okay and let everyone else deal with it. Fair play. Okay. It's and then, yeah, take it fine. No, fair enough. Um. Given. Oh, oh yeah, sweet. Okay, yeah. Dexterity. He's gonna fail. He's going to take a good sum of radiant damage coming down. And, well, he is going to look ferocious. Um, but he is going to take the ribbon made of his own tentacles for in his mouth. He shall bite his own tentacles off, causing him no small deal of pain. However... Once he says, once he's bit through it, with Alfie and Rowan still in tow, he will growl and he will say, 
So, that small amount of gems were just not in your hand today, then. It fucking speaks. <laughs> no, it, no, they weren't. Now you die. I surrender. Oh, no. Come on, no. Oh, well, I have to accept his surrender as an honorable combatant. <laughs> oh, you shit. <laughs> he will go... To be honest... Well, sorry, he's also still, like, huffing with pain and agony. But, um... He will, he will go on to say, to be honest, you've taken out one of my... Well, he was a bully of sorts. Not giving me an equal share to the passers-by in here. Now that he's dead, I'm happy to accept defeat and let you go on your way. Cool. Do you have anything we can give you? What, that you can give us? <laughs> Uh, he basically, like, goes, Are you blackmailing me? Uh, I am, but I'm more concerned how a, a creature of, of a, uh, of a cave knows what the concept of blackmailing is. He'll growl. Uh, but <clears> he, I growl back. He will... Still release Alfie and Rowan. So that gives him a tentacle back. And he's going to reach into his own mouth. And he's going to pull out. Four... Hey, cards against humanity, sir. <laughs> no, no, a deck of many things. Uh, he brings <gasps> out a... Uh, he brings out 50 gold pieces worth of rubies. Which are covered accept. in slime mine. and whatnot. Mine, 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 mine. I'll accept. Yeah. Oh, I accept the to He just opens the top of that head and goes, Bleh! and you just like grab those rubies right away, Zaron. No shit. Okay, given. well, do, we have got like a party gold thing. No, so they're like, mine. I like gemstones. Well, I'm fickle. Yeah, I like ring. You I like the closest, so. Well, I moved. Hmm. I'm putting it in the party. Hmm. They're mine, though. So talk to me when you want to use them rubies, mate. Such a dick. Okay. Um, all right then. And then after that, I'm just gonna be like, "So, what's it like living in a cave?" Seriously. Well, yeah. he he isn't like going to be moving off in a hurry, given how slowly he can move. And uh, when you ask him that, all of his tentacles just sort of drop. He kind of gives like a big huffing gr snarl of a sigh and he goes I'll be honest it gets pretty fucking dull oh yeah why don't you come with a no uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's your <laughs> what's your name Listen. what's your name Tentacle I boy? really want him to come with us but he only moves <laughs> 10 feet <laughs> that's why I want him to go with you <laughs> Oh no no no! It's great. We can put him on Garu's back because he's got good movement. That's a good point. Yeah, and he's got and, and because of the Goliath, he's got double carrying. Capacity. Oh my god! That's true. Oh, That's right. God. Yeah. You know that bit in like Alien Resurrection where the guy in the wheelchair is on the back of that guy. Yeah. We could do that. What's your name, Squidman? Yeah. What's your name, girl? What's your style? He kind of is like, I don't really have a name. Not one. You don't. Not one that can be name. spoken, typically. Oh, can we <laughs> name you? Can you? We can we name you in common? We'll call you Tippy the Tentacle. That's crap. Yes, no, he it will. Is. He will agree. That is crap. No, hang on, hang on, Goro. You need to come and carry our friend. <laughs> oh my God, Trevor the Goro's Tentacle. Around the Trevor. face with the mace. Oh! <laughs> God, would Goro do that though? Right now, yes. Would Would Goro do that though, dude? I mean, there is morality brought into it, and I would otherwise ignore it. But that was a crit, fine. I'll ignore it. And it's a mace of smiting. <laughs> um, Alex, if you want to retract that, I'll allow it. If you want to kill this dude, I will also allow it. I'm just not going to carry him. So okay. Well, 
Well, friend, new new found friend, um, Trevor, Artemis Trevor Tennis the third. He kind of looks like that can work, you know. Okay, Artemis Trevor Tonius the third. We'll go with that. So, we would offer to take you with us, or offer you to come with us, but you're not the quickest of 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 sons, are you? Is there any way we could shrink him? Oh my god, I want a little pocket roper. <laughs> that does sound <laughs> fucking awesome. That's, um, that's fucking awesome. That's can fucking you shrink awesome. down, my friend? Guys, you do yeah. know that if you have a pocket roper and I have a cat. So? The cat's gonna see it like a toy. Yeah. And the roper's gonna eat it. Because it has yeah, the roper could, like, yeah. But. Have you never seen the thing? <laughs> yeah, but I don't oh, yeah. want a cat to get eaten. Yeah, don't worry. Just keep the cat away from the little... Yeah, little, the cat can fly. He can't. It's 10 feet per round, even though, you know, he has got 50 feet of reach. Probably more. But that being said, however, the yeah. large reduce spell... Yeah. Does anyone have that? <laughs> Your bard, mate. Reduce nah. spell. I mean... I mean, Wiggy has it. But... <laughs> oh, no, hang on. That's a perfect reason to go back to Everland. <laughs> yeah. Goro, wow. you're gonna have to carry him for a little while. Oh uh, no, uh, something Seriously, like no. 300 Seriously. miles. You know? <laughs> oh my god, it would be a 300 mile we could, trek. We we could probably do it though if we had someone with I don't know like teleportation circle. Maybe we could get there in no <laughs> yeah. time. Though. You know, if someone yeah. was, to, if someone, if they were to level up and ask, we got out of this cave. If someone were to take that, that would be very helpful. Oh yeah, cough, cough, I'm bards, sure... bards can take teleportation circle, cough, cough. So yeah, yeah. but... You know. Rubies, rubies, <laughs> and I might give back that ring I killed, I still have. <laughs> you got your ring, yeah! <laughs> you still have that! And I still have your hand somewhere. <laughs> I thought you ate Is your ring on the hand? Or did oh, you the ring? yeah. You threw the hand at Trace. Trace didn't pick it up. Oh no, it's I know. back in the bar. Alright. No, it... no, 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 you absolutely have the hand. And it is. Well, I don't have the hand. I know where the hand is. Yeah, okay. Where Whatever where it is, hand. it's not healthy. <laughs> just, just so yeah, we're covering that. Good. Yeah, but question is: is the ring on the hand, or is it? No, your... he Tries, pilfered uh, it. Not Tries. Yeah. No, I know he mm. pilfered it because he wore it flashly to uh, the Loudwater estate. Oh really? Claiming to be your relative. Oh yeah, um, yeah, that it was cool. Yeah. Oh really? Uh, the ring is mine. If you, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you got out. Okay. So if I wasn't, if I wasn't Toru right now, if I was any other of my characters, I would stay. Why don't we take the roper outside, <laughs> hold him up, so then the rock comes down, takes the roper, and no. <laughs> If no, I was not any Trevor. Other than Toru, I would. Not Trevor. Just, uh, I fucking. Oh, wait, wait, are we adopting that. the squid? I, we might be adopting wait, the squid. Wait, no, the wait. The squid. What if Help. you animal friendship the rock to carry the roper? <laughs> and you said we couldn't like, do that yesterday, last week. Uh, you had a handler back then, and uh, combat happened. Guys. Oh, You're not oh getting fuck. A... Oh, shit, yeah, she's the handler. Oh, yeah. so level. Where do we level? Where do we level up? Fucking Moon Musk. Well, Moon Wait. Musk is the handler of the cave bears. Oh, yeah. not the rock. I thought she was the handler of the rock. I mean, that would be a bit OP. Uh, but yeah, it, it was. It was one of the stone giants that first came out. Oh yeah, the one we killed immediately. Yeah. Okay, I'll just be like, okay, look, Artemis, we can't carry you right now, but Maybe how about? How about we come back for you eventually and we'll take you with us on our journeys? He's like, I'm not against the idea, but I need fresh food often. Okay. What do you eat? A lot of things. We could, we could feed him that gnome. <laughs> we could, but I don't want to. <laughs> Oh yeah! Eat, would you eat a giant bird? Just a suggestion. His eyes flash as he's like, "Can you make this happen?" Yeah, Guys. I will take you outside. <laughs> this is just a suggestion. Why don't we murder the Roper, go to the Rock, befriend the Rock, 
And it can fly us, please. I don't We're think... not murdering Trevor! No, I, to be fair, I don't think that... Well, A, we've already agreed with like a, a verbal agreement with this rope, so we're not going to kill him. And B, I don't think you can really make an arrangement with a rock. I don't hey, think it's a beast. Hey, maybe you send the rope. I'm not to feed you ideas. You send the rope out. The rope oh, tries to kill the rock. This and then you I'm come out about. to defend the rock, and then you form a lifelong bond of friendship. <laughs> what I'm thinking is if we just take the rope outside, he then grapples the rock and we piss off. <laughs> No, no, you started this, this shit. We are following through. That's wow. what I'm talking about. Yeah, are, okay. I like, I like it. Look, look, friend Artemis. The Roper, and it is going to be our new leader. Artemis, you <laughs> like st- giant birds, right? I would certainly enjoy <laughs> feasting upon it for the okay. next couple of ten days. Okay, I will pick up Press. <laughs> it's right. He, Cor- best it's not a matter of strength, but he's kind of like, he's got a bit of like airtight suction going on between like all of like little cilia of feet beneath I'll get his my stack. Crowbar. <laughs> no 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 no. He grapples <laughs> all of you with like his six tentacles to assist in the lifting. Oh god. You can make a strength okay. check. Okay, what me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Goro would not have to make a check. Oh thank you. Well, I've got advantage. Okay, why? I'm done I'll oh, know that's anyone I'm raging. Yeah. Um. Yes, you're. You've lifted him, but you're gonna be moving him very slowly. Okay. He's got horrid breath, by the way. Absolutely. Hey, foul. H- Hidia, can you help? Well, uh, she's just like. Are you fucking insane? Yes. Yeah, you've got a point there, buddy. Be, I'm agreeing with bloody Hilia here. Well, sort of. The Roper shares its tentacles around you, Rowan. Um, Do I have to roll strength as well? No, 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 no. This is now just being shared. And between Toru's strength and your guidance in this lift, you're doing that thing where you're not really helping, but you're wrong? holding it and you're sort of being able to do a bit of a pull. Yeah, what's that? What's that? Opportunity to impress your lady friend right now. If you help lift that, it'll you know, show how manly you are. If you erect the roper up above your shoulders. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do an <laughs> athletics check. <laughs> no, between the three of you, you are going to have this sorted. Um, Somehow both of your rolls were one less than both of mine. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, something dodge is going on there. I think it just shows who's the more superior man, really. <laughs> oh, I roll anyway just to see what I get. I kick you get more sure. than us. Sure. Oh, this is where Rowan crits and it just like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's our off days. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you've been fighting it's a, a lot. Hand. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, I'm very you know, exhausted. Using my arms quite well, lately. Why don't, we, why don't we rest a part of him on the bear as well? So then we I can mean, yeah, the him. fucking bear. <laughs> that could take him, being a large I, creature. I am a large... I am a big bear. <laughs> I am large. I am, <laughs> I am large. I am bear. I don't, I love don't, have, I don't have an athletics check, but... Um... <laughs> just, just, just click strength. Can we get this thing out now? There we yeah. go. Can we get out of the damn cave, please? Can we get out of this dungeon? Yeah, let's go, go down to the bottom right here. Um, Have I still... Alfie is just going to be, like, tugging on your, like, sleeve or, like, shirt toyo, but you've oh, already okay. flown the fuck off. No, no, that's fine. She's, she's, just kind of, she's kind of like... Uh, are you okay, Toyo? Yeah, what's up? Ah! I was just... This seems weird. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna pick her up and put her on my shoulder. She's just like, oh, it's... wait, hang <laughs> and on. Then, um... There's still an issue oh. here. Oh. But she was like momentarily like, oh yeah, hi up you. And now I'm gonna go over here and just be like, so like, like I'm, <laughs> I don't want to kill this guy because <laughs> he, you know, he was being like, oh no, don't kill me. And so we were like, okay, I'm not gonna kill you. And, and you know, you can respect that, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can. Exactly. But, like, we need someone to distract the rock so we can get away. Toru. Now, look, I know <laughs> that may look bad, <laughs> but what would Dream Alfie say? She's like, 
It thinks you're his friend now. No, he doesn't. He thinks we are. The love was like, I'm so glad we made this lifelong friendship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Look, he said he likes giant birds, Alfie. Yes, but we should tell him it's still alive and we don't intend to fight it. <sighs> okay, fine. You know it's for the best, Tom. Oh. Well done. <laughs> She's like the she's like the big she's like the moral big sister that we all love and hate. <laughs> hey, uh, Artemis. Yes. So, the the giant bird outside's still alive. Yes, I know. You're going to kill it so I can feed off it, right? Mm, yeah. Well, you might need to like seriously grapple the thing, yeah. Tomorrow. Mm. I'm not in the best condition, as you can see. Okay, look, how about we leave you in the cave for today and we come back tomorrow, probably not, and then we come <laughs> and grab you and help you out, yeah? He's just, like, peering at you as, you know, this is all obviously turned around <laughs> as he just goes, it's a shame, but all right. Okay, cool, and I'll give him... I don't know, five days worth of rations. He'll scoop them up between his six tentacles, and he's just like, yeah. And he just like, wiggles back to the corner here, in an alcove, sits himself down, turns himself around, and he looks almost indistinguishable from a static tight, or slowly does, okay. as he like, camouflages with the stone and rocky outcroppings. Okay. That was one pointless side quest we made and ended in the space of half an hour. I Good was job, so Matt. ready for a Roper buddy on your I many adventures. I want one. If we, if we just had the like enlarge reduce spell, <laughs> I would have him in my pocket. <laughs> I would be so fucking down for it. Oh, anyway, let's go down bottom right. You know, where Zaron's going and me. Just because, uh, like, it looks like we can loop around or something oh, down there. He will, he will turn around and he will go. Before you go down there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Should I turn back into regular form? Should I keep being uh, there? Actually, hang stick, on. stick there. I think. Yeah. How long can you be there for? Um, he, she can be bear all she wants. Um, oh yeah, I'd stay as bear. Keep the wild show. Okay. However, cool. Yeah, he will just say, <laughs> down past one of the small folk camps there's a lot of mold and festering filth including if memory serves one other stone giant okay nah, it's just another one fuck it I, I can't rage anymore but yeah okay cool thanks man yeah he just, hey yeah hey hey Artemis mm. you're a good guy and I just wink at him. He either blinks or he winks. Yeah, he's got one eye in it. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> cool. And we'll head off. Yeah. Uh, Hidia's going to sidle up to... Oh, okay, Bear's going <laughs> to get there. Uh, Hidia's going to sidle up with uh, you, Trace, and she's just like... Um, Hidia, Zaron. Of, yeah, to Zaron, sorry. Yeah. And she's just like, Toru's kind of messed up, isn't he? He's got a lot of his plate at the moment. We we all yeah. have. You know, I can hear you both. <laughs> yep. Yeah. She's she's talking privately. You know, I can hear you both. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm omniscient. Yeah, he's a uh, <laughs> he's the stone giant god. Um, <laughs> No, uh, essentially, he's got he's got a, he's got a lot of stuff. His family situation's pretty messed up, and uh, he's just trying to have a bit of fun. But hey, he's always he always tries to do good. All I can think is, you all want to talk? <laughs> so, yeah, but she doesn't know that. She doesn't. Know she that. doesn't. She doesn't know I'm all messed up on the inside. <laughs> That's the secret, Captain. We're all messed up all the time. No, excellent. Uh, but she's just like. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, he's my friend, though. Bitch, I don't need your pity. <laughs> I will stab you the fuck up. Not you, idiot. 
Oh. Meanwhile, Alfie is uh, like back, right back with. Uh, so where were we? Oh yes, uh, Mormon Shield, and uh, she's like recapping what you guys have done, and then this this gnome yells, "You had an airship!" And he just his eyes bulge in his skull, and he's just like, "Did you did you ever hear like the maker of it? Did you did you have a craft name, airship type?" Uh, oh, please, come on! Uh, yeah, you know. he's just called Air Force Klauf. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, hey, what was your name? Uh, what was your name, dude, again? Alistair, Alistair. Alistair, your boner is showing through your pants. His, his, like, he hasn't got a pointy hat, otherwise it would be rather pointed. But he's airship. just... He's just like... It's an airship, though. Come on, it's... A, it's it's a, it's a, it's a boat of the sky. It ah. Uh. We also had we were also in a flying castle for about a month as well. That was fun. Flying castles, magic airships, te technological marvels. Of yeah, but it was being powered by two elementals, so it wasn't really that. Like, really. Yeah. That that must have been an amazing containment. Ah. Oh. Sorry. It was alright, but Derek was real rude dickhead, really. I, I don't know who this Derek is, but you gotta, yeah, you, yeah, well. you gotta understand. Somebody in my field would give anything to reverse engineer an airship. Uh, I, uh, it's a magnum opus, really. It just so happens that in my pouch I have blueprints for an airship. You do not. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just like, I mean, we all have, like, various ideas in our head about how to make it you know an airship that is but they're they're government trade secrets sometimes at least in the like far far southern countries and what little is brought up you know i just haven't got to see one and even if i did it would take me uh, three years to build from scratch if i had all the resources which of course you know i can only hope to ever amass <sighs> Sorry about that. It's just a real shame. I would have. Oh, it's a shame. It well, yeah. I would. I would have. Been, I would have given anything to have worked on an airship and helped like fix it up and all that stuff. Did you say anything? Yes, anything. Ba -na 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 anything. 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 Yes, anything <laughs> for you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Look, uh, well, we know where the crashed one is. If you want to go to it after, it, how 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 badly? How, how, and he like? Oh, he, not bad at all. He tucks like one arm underneath his like armpit while he's he's stroking his he's holding his chin thoughtfully, and but he looks like very interested as he's kind of like his his chin stroking hand is shivering as he's just mm. like he's like um how how far away is that? Oh, not far. Just, you know, north. <laughs> it is fucking far. Um, but, uh... But yeah, but he don't know that. He's just like... Do, do you think it, Do you think it's all still there? And, oh, uh, and probably. How, I heard it, it, only its its air balloon uh, got popped. The rest of it just fell, right? Yeah, that's about right. Oh, that could be an easiest job. He's like, yeah, you know, it just needs a bit of paint, a bit of dinging, you know, I'll be fine. No, it will take more than a bit of stupid paint, but, but... Whoa, whoa, don't diss paint, mate. I, I, he's just like, I kind of more preserve, like, a natural lacquer to preserve the wood, to be honest. But that's, Oh, yeah, more, that's, more natural, do you? That's Sorry. splitting hair. <laughs> and you'll then just turn around and say, Alfie's all made of plastic. She may as well be a Barbie doll. Yeah, don't you yeah. get any ideas? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh my god, what if Alfie was an android of the steampunk era? <laughs> no, oh, I yeah, Alfie turned out she's been a warforged this entire time. Yes, um, however, at that side, he's just like, listen, if I have your help, I think I could absolutely fix that ship right up. No problem. Well, define help. Lifting, hammering some nails. I'll take care of like the nitty gritty bits of like any mechanical work. Well, we won't be able to do that within the next month. 
he's just like, I'll wait two years, but by then the material may get pretty bad. Um, well, you can, if we look at. Airship. I know he is. I know he is. I know this is what he's doing, but fuck, I like Taru doesn't. What, <laughs> like, what's going on? If he can build us a new airship, that would save us a lot of fucking time. He cannot build you a new airship, but if he can no. at least, if he can fix the crashed one, he can fix the crashed one, and that will be a big job for him. But he can do it in a reasonable amount of time with your help. God, you know you want it. Plus, I do, but we don't have time. We got like seven other fucking side quests to do. Plus, what's more, he <laughs> pilot it. He would. He would. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'd make him. We'd make him learn. No, he would know. He would know. But also, he would also happen to say that, um, or rather, if he can learn based on the reverse engineered model, he can, in essence, recreate a new one based off the design. And so on. Cool. Anyway, yeah. That's what he's offering. That sounds great. Yeah, well, your offer is good. And, and yeah. Yeah, we, we may accept it upon the completing multiple different tasks we have to do. He just nods his head and he goes, that's fair enough. Now, I understand you've got a lot to deal with, but got to be said, if, if we're not back at the, like, Okay, the engine. I, I have no state. I have no idea. That place was near a boggy marsh, so it may all be humid. There may be looters. I'm just saying that it would be a shame if our work increases because outside shit ruined the like work site, as it were. Well, this was like a few weeks ago at this point, even though we played it about fucking months ago. Yeah, he will just be like. It's worth a try, but the sooner the it's better. It's worth a try, but the engine was an elemental, so we'll see where this goes. It was an elemental put in su- Oh. We <laughs> will need to summon two. Unless they No, they will have- They will have got out. We will need some elemental caster. Hmm. Well, how about Alistair? We put a pin in that and we come back to that when we get out of here. Yes, no, exactly right. <laughs> no, absolutely. So, cool. uh, you guys have two routes before you. Three, in fact. One leading out to the ravine. One going straight down. I think we should check down. this one, because it will look round. Okay. Uh, but but it's up you... to everyone else. Yes, but just out of curiosity, when you do peer down it, you will see down here is all very moss-covered. Moss and oh. fungal. Um, Derp. And let me just get a thing up. Derp. Derpity. You did warn us about that. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, just so I have described this correctly. Um, yes, so this fungus that's all within here, uh, it's all got very sticky mushrooms uh, ranging in height from a few inches to like three feet tall, and they all cover the floor with uh, a few fossilized stone giants across the way there. Um, it's mm, I've got an idea. The moss is also quite interesting as it has, like, coloured with blue, gold, and scarlet moss here and there. I have an idea. I'm going to go to the... F- Can I go to the fire and pick up a burning stick and burn all the moss and stuff down that entire passageway? It is not... Moss is not flammable, you know? It's probably a lot all wet and damp it's from that. very wet and moist, oh, but you can absolutely have... Oh, okay, wet moss, yeah. Yeah, yeah, huh? it's, it's fungus. It's all very much living in a. Damp- so, so you can burn moss. So no, yeah. yeah. We're, like, we're in a wet cave, isn't it? So. It, it's it's. You can burn moss, but most but it, the fire doesn't like catch to it. It just like burns through it and evaporates its substance. You know, it is mm. not particularly flammable. Okay. But you can absolutely keep like a stick from the fire on fire for sure. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we'll head around here then. All right then. Uh, this passageway is much quieter. Um, at the bottom of it, you will begin to see a bit of a uh, stream. Okay. And Can I make a stream check? 
<laughs> your stream is clear. However, cool. when you then get further down, you can see more of the moss. Mm. Mm. Um, this damn cave seems to contain a shallow pool, very murky and green, um, on the edges while it's still somewhat clear, trickling out the other sides. Um, and sprouting from mossy beds are scores of mushrooms. Now these are much taller in uh, like variation. Like there are some that are five feet tall. Okay. Mm. Hey Riamber, can you make a uh, yeah. can you make a nature check or something to see if this moss is safe? I mean, I probably can, but you can. <laughs> Just, just nod as there. Okay. Uh, nature. Where's nature? Oh. Can I uh, can I give them inspiration to get the yeah. advantage? Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, these mushrooms are not harmful. They are just pretty large mushrooms. What about the moss? Not harmful either. Rather exotic, and they've had a long time to fester and to grow in this humid, perfect condition, but they are still not, you know, harmful. Okay. How, how shallow is the water? Um, it, like some of the other pools of water, uh, this is, like, about three feet, if not deeper. Turn it to ice, Toru. I mean, I, I can, but only ten feet at a time. Ah, uh, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump in the, 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 the river thing. I think we should probably, yeah, uh, just like draw the. Yeah. Hang yeah. on, did we ever find a conjure teleportation from from Caregri or whatever? No, not Caregri, Kalithika. Um, no, we didn't. You did not uh, ask much about it from her. Oh, uh, we sort of just assumed that there would be one after we killed her, like in a loot pile or whatever. Um, well, in the treasures, she has not kept hers on her person, as far as I can see. Well, we still got the the one that Thingy gave us back, so... Oh, no, no, there was a Contra teleportation in her pack, rather. Sorry, yes, there was. There was, okay. Sorry, I did miss that. It's all good. I was just looking through magic items and I saw one and I was like, well, hang on, did we get hers as well? Hmm. So now we've got two. Cool. I would say keep one because they are fucking... Okay. We've got a bag of holding. I mean, you could sure sell it, but like, you're okay. I thought I thought the whole reason why we needed this contra teleportation is because Severin took it and didn't give it back. No, he, he gave us back. He did. However, I hope you are keeping track of what your bag holder can do. Just so I mention, okay, um, twenty pounds, two and a half feet long. You know, giant size conch to like blow out of, two and a half feet long. Yeah, but it's got a cubic... It can hold 64 cubic feet. All right. Okay. So long as it's you're keeping track of those conditions, which I believe you yeah. are, then okay. You do have two. You can probably get to selling off some of these excessive magic items. But anyway, uh, you guys can carry on no problem. Rowan, you're way back there. We'll get you moved down. Boop. So yeah, please carry on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, stick to the water. Yep. Okay. So stop. Stop there. Stop. Go. Stop. Rowan. I said stop. Mm. Okay. So Zaron and Thingy were the first to cross over. Alfie did a massive jump, but I suppose she's there. Oh, now. okay. Do you want to move her back then? Uh, nope. This will just be how it goes. So, okay. Toru, um, who has a passive perception score more than 16 or on 16? I think Alfie might. Uh, what's passive? No, Alfie's fun. is 15. It's underneath all your stats. Mine's 13. Mine's 16. Mine's 16. Oh, there we go. Okay. What is this? Zaron. Yeah, everybody. Uh, yeah, but what, what, what are we looking at? I need oh, a passive perception, perception score. Thank you. Mine's 15. 16. Yeah, I think it's just. Okay. Rowan? Uh, 15. Okay, awesome. So, 
that makes uh, Zaron not surprised, as far as I'm aware, as from the water will emerge uh, a swinging giant. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, has he not? Hang on. Has he not been told by the rest of them that he can't hurt us? He has no, not. probably not. He's probably no. This is probably his pool. He rises from the pool, but more than that, given that you know how sh small it is, <laughs> you know that bombs. he has been beneath the ground itself, merged with the very stone. Now, because well, of so he's used like stone mold or something. Exactly. Uh, more oh, okay. like, uh, specifically, if I want to be precise, and I do, he has been uh, meld into stone spell. Yeah. Which is specifically what's been going on with him. Um, now, to begin with, Rhiannon, you're surprised. Yep. Hidia is surprised. Rowan is surprised. Yep. It is now the stone giant's turn. On a surprise round, Zaron... You are not surprised, which means you'll be able to act on your initiative. But firstly, okay. the giant will strike the nearest humanoid, and you had to move because he did rise from underneath you, Toru. So he yeah. is going to come out swinging with his great club at you first. Okay. Alright. He rolls a 22 and a 23. Both hit. You'll be taking 36 points of damage. Cool. Not half, because I'm not raging. Yep. And that is his turn. <laughs> Goro, you are surprised. Shinton? You're a fucking barbarian. Yeah. You don't get surprised, do you? I, I, I don't, if I've got a rage available. Ah. You are surprised. Okay. Your turn is missed. Zaron, you... Um, get, yeah, yeah oh. you're just like ready in action. This dude pops yeah. up, but you're ready. You're on the ball. Uh, I'm gonna do a sexy backflip over and start and just do armor punch, armor punch, off and armor punch. Certainly, <laughs> no, absolutely. You can absolutely do that. Just hey, yeah. da -da, da -da, da -da. Just use are... nuts as a speed bag. Yeah, no, those are all hits. Those are all nice. hits. And no, that crit, excellent. Um. 22, 24, 32. 32 right off the bat does a great sum of damage carving up his shins and whatnot. Absolutely. GG. GG indeed. Um, Alfie is surprised. Initiative round as normal. Rhiannon, it's your turn. Bear him up. Bear him up. Uh, that is one miss and one hit. 12 points of damage, as uh, you're putting those bear claws to good use. Uh, Hidia just gets closer to the scene. She better have seen me do that fucking she, sexy backflip. She did not, unfortunately. God damn, someone tell her that I did a sexy backflip. <laughs> Rowan, your turn. Right. Uh, I'm a bit far from the action, I think. You uh... are. That's about as far as I can get. Uh, I suppose I could. Oh, I don't... Bears in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Giants are giant. Uh, I would use the wand, but like, if I shock someone in the water, everyone else in the water is gonna get shocked. Yeah. And you know, I kind of don't want to electrocute the team. I, I do, you know. And right. we're standing in water. Exactly. And he's made of stone. <laughs> yeah, surely it'd affect everyone else more than him? Like, if it hits him, it's not going to conduct. Nah, he's not made no, out of stone. Yeah, but he's not made of stone, he's just a stone giant. Yeah. He is flesh and blood, or else he wouldn't bleed when you cut him up, which you can see he does. Uh. Hmm. Maybe if I run over here, I might be able to get better line of sight on Remember, him. Remember, you do have a very well-powered harp. Yeah, uh... That's not really in the harp, but it looks like for you right now. Yeah, so I'm just thinking, like, the harp's not particularly useful. I mean, like, the only thing I could possibly think to use right now um, is, 
I, I used Wallaf the Wallaf into the last fight, and that's one per day, so I've used that. Yeah. Um, so that just leaves. Wow. The, all right. <laughs> that literally leaves a spell that I need ten minutes to cast. Invisibility in flying and compelled duel and. I mean, I, I suppose I could distract him from you guys, but that still means that it's a, a giant versus me. <laughs> what I would, what I would recommend. The target is... doesn't have to be you, Rowan. It's not a oh, yeah. with me. Yeah, I've got I mean, no if Zaron wanted to show off a bit, I could make that happen. Hedia is Do looking. It. Yeah. What What I was gonna say was like you could just. You could try and do a... Oh, it doesn't matter. Carry on. No, it doesn't matter. So that is an option, Zaron, if you want your, you know, time to shine. Yo, Zaron, you with us? No. Yeah, I'm still here. What? Yeah, do you want to... There's a thing that they can... That Rowan can do make a compelled duel against you, which makes the giant only focus you if they if they fire. Do it, yeah, do it. Okay, uh, and that means it's disadvantage on, on creatures other than you, and uh, it can't move more than thirty feet away. Um, but it ends if you attack any other creature, which is not possible. Uh, okay, so yeah, with a strum of the harp. Rowan is going to cast that so that the giant only has eyes for you, Zaron. Good. No, that's exceptional. Um, I'd give it a... Get, you've, that was just a bonus action, by the way, as well. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, which means I could... Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... <laughs> I've kept your playlist um, ready. Yeah! yeah. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do another spell, right? I well, just... actually, I think you can because I'm going to allow you to because if you've got the actions, you can do it. But what's more, this is cast from the harp, not from yourself. So I will allow yourself to do a different bit of spell casting. However, when you do hit the specific string that seems to be tied with this spell and you base your musical song from that like key chord... You feel the impression of Kiregri's spirit in this whole song, and you feel like your experiences with them come it flowing back to you, and you feel as though you're using them in this way. Um, with that, the stone giant is going to fail, as their rage and ire will be focused towards Zauron, influenced by these taunting song lyrics that sort of provoke it into fighting Zawan. Na, 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 na. That aside, <laughs> however, yeah, please carry on. Um, so yeah, the whole feeling of, like, Kroger's presence and her being there and everything is gonna kind of shake Rowan up a bit, kind of like, ah. Um, e even if, like, that does get to you, it's like a, it's like a background feeling. It does not, it does not, like, crush you or it does not, like, make you anxious. You are more, you more or less feel that, like, experience, and you feel like you're able to channel it with control as you play your song. Hmm. Fair enough. So, low-key guilt, but not enough to get in the way. Fair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, right. Now, this is something that I kind of want to ask you about, because uh, okay. uh, it, it does state in the thing, at the DM's option, you may choose an alternative effect. I want to do Bustow Curse. Okay. Now... Uh, I kind of want to tweak one of the existing, uh, like, suggested effects, because, you know, I am given, giving Zaron his time to impress Hidia, and, you know, as a lover of love myself, um, I, like I, I, I do want to see, you know, young couples, mm. you know, I like together. It. So, I'm very so, uh, <laughs> Verified amateurs. <laughs> um... There's a, the, a suggested effect. While the target is cursed, your attacks and spells deal an extra 1d8 necrotic damage. Can I apply that uh, instead to Zaron's attacks? So give Zaron an extra 1d8 necrotic damage every time he attacks the giant? Oh! I will allow it, because I like uh -huh. the creativeness there. Uh, that's there another spell, awesome. and it's another wisdom saving throw. 
So, yeah, no, I will allow that. He fails as you just assault him mentally. And now he is feeling like, oh shit, these mushrooms are getting to me. But also, Zaron, the like focus of his ire, now is the bringer of his doom. And his only way is to fight to the absolute bitter end for his very life's sake. But no, that's excellent. Well done. Very nice I, um, round. Whilst it turns over, um, I'm just gonna wink at Zaron, like, finger guns, like, hey, hey. Tiger. <laughs> Lovely. <Yes. laughs> Wonderful. It is the stone giant's go. He could attack others, but he really doesn't want to. His focus is on Zauron. Hmm. Now, what to do? What to do? What to do? See, he has a thing, but you're spiky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Spiky. Zauron. Yes. You are. He's going to face you, but firstly. Yeah, firstly, he's going to try to throw you. I want you okay. to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Oof. Okay, that is a failure. He's going to grab you. Now, I want you to give me the flat damage of an unarmed strike and your 1d8 necrotic damage as you're all covered in spikes. Oh, how do I do unarmed strike Roll damage. me an attack Just for your unarmed punch. Force. And then... Off, you... Offhand armor punch. Yeah. Yeah. And then plus an extra d8. Yes. So that's already a hit, but it's two points um, of damage, and then do a d8. All right. So yeah, he's gonna take an eight points. As even in your hands, you are a spiked menace. No, you abs it, it absolutely sucks balls to have you uh, hurt it like that. Um, however. He is going to succeed in flinging you the full distance, well, I suppose more to here, um, as you are going to take... Um, do -do -do, do -do -do. You're going to take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Question? Yes. Um, for the uh, Compelled Jewel, it says um, about, uh, it has to make a wisdom simply throw it every time it attempts to move away, from, more than 30 feet away from the target. Would it be affected uh, by uh, making Zaron move out of range? No. He must attempt to leave. He has not done that. Uh, Fair enough. He will, will, he will willingly go closer. He will chase down Zaron, but his intention is not to flee, but he will fight no. on. Okay. Is he going to move towards me then? Yes, he has every intention of focusing you down, and that's clear in his expression, although he still has to deal with the people in front of him, but if he can get away with it, he will just focus you down. Mm -hmm. Goro of Let the him mountain. come. Yeah. Let him come. Let him just come and get me. <laughs> Goro of the mountain, it is your turn. Okay, same as usual. Two maces and an unarmed. Okay. That's a hit. That's damage. That oh, is shit. also a hit. What's up? Uh, the spell ends if a creature friendly to yeah, you. I was, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I was just about to say. Yeah. It, it should just be me and him. Yeah, it, like if if we want to continue the spell, then we, we we can't attack him. So it's like I didn't realize his, that. A, his attacks oh, are but... his attacks are old. Oh well. Uh, it happens. We learn. But you've actually done a great deal of damage, definitely bludgeoning him. Fine, I'll also spend a key point to do Stunning Strike. Okay, damn. Nice. Uh, yeah, he will do a con save. He's going to succeed and will not be stunned. Okay. Uh, it was con, right? Yeah, it's constitution. Okay, yeah, he has succeeded. Um, and he is no longer on the effect of the compelled duel, but he is still under the effects of the curse. Holy fucking shit, what is your background noise, Will? I'll, I'll just move my laptop. It's the gun. Oh, okay. I thought you were sniffing That's... your mic. No. <laughs> it's your the turn. Ghost. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's, there's always a ghost. 
<laughs> I'm gonna. Now. I'm a reckless great weapon. Wow. Okay then. Oh, that's, point, yeah, hit. that's gonna be a hit. Yep, twenty-three. 23. Yep. Whoops! Whoops! I fucking hate when I accidentally click some other number, and I don't remember what he was last on. Son of. Yeah, just, a... just, just, just like go back and try and figure out what he had. So. Oh my god. So it was twenty-two. 24, right. 32, so go to max health, minus 32. Okay, 20, minus 23. That's a serious good sum of damage, and then you fucking crit. Yeah. So, you, you roll that I damage. Don't get my brutal, I don't get my brutal critical yet, do I? No. I'm getting bumbled up properly. No, not properly. Yeah. So, 23, he's, 36. He's dead. You Boy. are just on a war path as you completely... Obliterate him. I he, want to level up! <laughs> he just like falls back with a splash in this murky water as damn, he just got absolutely destroyed. As, as he falls down right before conscious, right before he loses consciousness and dies, yep. he'll just land on his knees and he'll kind of go, <laughs> I'm your god. Now bow. Fucking hell. You're such a tool. Yeah, I am. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Mr. Shadow the Hedgehog AMV. <laughs> Your alignment is in question, boy. That's um, fine. Well, I mean, you, you, you made sure to keep that Roper alive, so fair play. Um, where are we? I need I need my, my dungeoneering music. Uh, uh, there we go. Whoop. Okay. Hey, I'll, I'll just go over to uh, Zara and watch. Hey, do you have a nice trip? <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy that uh, Goro interfered. No, not as a, especially as a background of a pit fighter. He's especially not happy Goro interfered. Dude, I didn't know the stupid spell would would break if I smacked him. Rowan, what do you L five see? Yeah, well, Again, that side. Rowan is all the way back here, but no, they'll peek out. <laughs> okay. Rowan! What? My elf I see mistakes. My <laughs> elf I. Singular. Half. Oh yeah, so of course, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I see half a mistake. Oh. Sound like my dad. Me? Oh, oh mine too, Derek. <laughs> no, I'm in real life. <laughs> Will <laughs> shut up. Carry on, carry on. Yep. Happy music. Yes. Um, roll, roll perception check. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Because again, you you know you're looking for that rock. Let's put you back, Goro, and let's put Rowan forward as they are scouting for this moment. So let's have that perception, please. Okay. Um. Perception. Ah. <laughs> Okay, no, the I rocks see some is... things. Can I get Rowan ah! so they can get the 23 on the per If perception. you have an inspiration to spend, yes, you can. I do. Yeah, totally. The rock does not appear to be in this area. Interesting. Okay. Alright, it's not here. Good. I'm going to just head on shall walking we, out and just walk shall we, down. Should we try and go up to up to here? If I can, I can fly you all up or whatever. And then make our way back through this cave here, and then try and get to Hideous Little Cave at the bottom, and then have a have a night's rest in there if we can. With the bears. Yeah. <laughs> should, we, should we do that? Yeah. No, I'm gonna climb up. Can I just yeah. climb it? Can I just climb yeah. up the cliff? Uh, okay. It is thirty feet, so you know, twenty-five That's times so... higher than where you are. I'll climb with him. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. I'll carry Alfie, and if Rowan would like to be carried, I'll carry them. So, I recently discovered that it's written in some rules, because the feat allows you to climb without going at half movement, that essentially climbing will just be half your movement. Okay. This was fascinating for me to learn, but it's the case. 
I want to I want to carry Hidia up just for bounce and like, <laughs> like show Zara on that I'm carrying her up. Uh, she's just like you often. She's just like I appreciate the fall, but I, I can climb myself. Okay. Damn. Um, and, um I'll uh, car can I carry bear up or not? You cannot, I'll be right back, guys. You cannot okay. carry the bear. It's also a okay. shame he's he's gone because uh, you know Hidia will just like be at. Uh, Zaron's side and just be like, kind of a kind of a tool to ask me that, you know. I can climb myself, and Zaron's yeah. just like, yeah, I know, right? Whew. Anyway, uh, oh, God. so yeah, I guess you all begin to uh, try to climb. Bears do not have a climb speed. Bears can't climb. They have a swim speed. They do not have a climb speed. Oh, grub. Alistair and, and, like and Rowan real often. Halfway movement. Bears. No. Yeah. Yeah, okay. isn't it half the bears movement? Yeah, if it's half everyone else's movement. It's not like it's not like a thumbs. ninety it's not like a de ninety degree yeah, but bears can climb trees and yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. I am somewhat DM ruling this climbing to be easier on humanoids. I will not yeah, make it easier <laughs> on a bear. It's harder for people to climb trees than a bear to climb trees. 30 feet high. Have you seen a bear climb a tree? They just like latch in and just I climb I am not up outside like of cartoons. Happened. I've seen <laughs> some <laughs> guy crawl out of trees. I am currently spamming the chat with bears climbing. Oh, <laughs> are <laughs> you? Completely serious. <laughs> bears climb shit. Oh, look at that one bear, the first one. It's no more than 10 feet. Oh, look at this little bear. I bet it's no further than 10 fucking feet. That bear is clearly climbing! <laughs> that's ice. Anyway, rock climbing. Ah, they can slide. That's the point. I just like their stupid butts hanging out. Um, okay, okay. No more than 30 feet and no more than 10 feet. Uh, Look at this fucking video. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, I know! And bears can also have a photoshopped Jedi stuff put on them. I don't, know why, I don't know why you're so like... You can have a guy. can climb oh, shit. So, so Toru carrying ah. someone climbing. That's you, perfectly feasible. But Toru a has not carried anybody climbing. He's not climbing you anywhere. Can, okay. You can just climb. Fine. You've convinced me with the backlog. Like your fucking day. Never mind. Fucking opposable thumbs. Bears can climb. Squirrels don't have opposable thumbs. Sorry, and they can climb. Oh, I fuck just... off. Can we drop this, please? <laughs> fuck <laughs> Spiders don't okay, have opposable thumbs. They can just because they don't have the opposable thumbs doesn't mean they can't climb. Uh, like, I mean, the, the point was that like monsters have like a sheer like, cliff face. Like when monsters have, have like some a climb speed. Uh, you can just climb. Everybody can just Why? climb everything. There's Why? The, <laughs> it's just I'm realizing now. Why are you so I'm just I'm just realizing that in five e. There, there really is no need for grappling tools. There's no need for climbers kit. It really is just you can oh, all wait, just I've climb got a any hook. height of wall. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have to come back to just bears climbing. Yeah, I've got a grappling hook, by the way. So it's you don't need it. That's that's no. just a realization. It's just a realization on map. That's all. Five E is you need no climbers check at all. You can just climb. God, you're really you're really salty about the constant that I'm climbing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't we just make? Can we just make everyone take an athletics check? No, no we're up now. Jesus Christ! Yeah, everybody's up. <laughs> God, man. It's not salt at you. It's salt that Five E is just. You want to climb a mountain? You can just climb it. No need for check. You just it's half movement. You're no, not meant to be able get, to climb like, a sheer rock face, but you can, you can do it. Yeah. yeah, and it's not like 90 degree either, it's like leveled. You're you right, yeah. you, are, you are right, there are like, ledges. It's to like... it. There are some ledges it's to it. It's ledge if it had like enough of an incline. Um, so anyway, you're back here. Uh, the place is still rather empty and deserted, so not much going on over here. You uh, continue to make your way down, back to the the old muddy pit. Oh, try and get to, yeah, down here, and then. Yep. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. You're making your way down with nothing left to really interfere with you. Okay, so, okay. Zaron, you're at the uh -huh. cave mouth. You can see that the rock has given up on you guys, and 
is back oh. on its like in its nest. Cool. We don't bother it, and we cool. go back. We go to the cave. Yeah. Think. We go to this. Think. 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 Think carefully. Think carefully. Just cool. saying, like it's it's in its nest. It's kind of chilling, but you know. That's a good point. We could just leave. Well, Cast hellish away. rebuke on nest. You need to be heard first. By the we target. Could... It's also out we of could... range. We could just yeah. leave indefinitely while it's sleeping. That'd work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave. Hey, Hidia, do you want to get anything out of your cave before we go? She doesn't know it's her cave. Yeah, my my cave? Well, yeah, this is your cave here. Have a quick look, see if you need anything. Yeah, we'll, 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 me and Hidia will go and explore it. Uh, yeah, so she d follows along with you, Zaron. And she's... Why is Alfie come with us? I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway. No, well, we'll just stay at the door, make sure. Okay. We'll, like, yell at you if the rock comes. Yeah. Cool. So inside is uh, two cave bears and a cave bear cub. They're all just cuddled up. Hey, friend. Is there no, uh, can I make an investigation check to see if there's anything of hers in there? Um, so... Um... <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, but you gotta deal with the bears. And Hitty is like, we can't go in there. There's, there's two cave. There's there's two bears in there. Oh, you were with those bears before before you lost your memory. Uh, what's that? She owned the bears. Yeah, they were your bears. They're your bears. What? I. She doesn't know how to process that, really. It's it's just an absolutely foreign thing to her. It, it, she doesn't know how to respond or how to deal with that information. Right. Cool. Probably should have been there. Oh, I'm just going to just gonna say, Taru, can you go and get the other bear? What? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll go get Rihanna. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. I can hear... Oh, the typing will, and all the massive whirlwinds are breathing. I'm not even so, breathing. Yeah, it's just, it sounds like something being moved. Yeah. I mean, Rihanna Bear, can you go in there and communicate with those bears? Because Reavers are hideous stuff. Okay. He would be like, hey, it's an injured bear. Yeah, that is an injured bear. It is a Sup, bear. my fellow bears? Yes. Fellow bears. Um, so firstly, the two bears snarl as uh, they are worried you're going to interfere with their uh, territory. Naturally so. Cub nearby. <laughs> Protection in mind. I just, like, don't know how to show that I'm not a threat of Mr. to rest. Well, in the laws of the natural kingdom, you get Maybe out of their domicile. Yeah. Back out. <laughs> okay. Bear mission so, failed. Do we like a submissive kind of show or something like roll like, over? Bow. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just, just, just show submission instantly. <laughs> like, no, I don't. Just want to chill, guys. Just roll in and, you know, flop on your back. Uh, okay. Get it, just fall on my back. Like, please, please don't kill me or any of my friends. Okay. Like the idea we just want a nap. Paper, scissors with Rowan. Yeah. Okay. Just to pass the time. Fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you want to roll for it? <laughs> Mama, Mama Bear takes uh, Cub Bear into the back. Uh, for the rock, paper, scissors stuff, um, one is paper, two is rock, three is uh, scissors. And uh, you can both roll me... It, well, you can first put in the chat, without entering it, Rowan, without entering it, both have slash roll 1d3, and then, when I say go, you both hit enter once, okay? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, no. Fun of a fucking fuck! Okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. Rock, paper, scissors, go! The Fuck. Fu the fucking delay I'll lose. for me. I'll take the loss. Okay, I only see one result, so I'll take your good sportsmanship. But yeah, Rowan wins one. Seriously, I'm not getting a D3 at all. Um, oh well. Back to bears. Rhiannon. 
Yeah. You're currently a, a healthy, healthy yeah. bear. A bear of good, you know, health. And, hmm. So, Papa Bear is looking at you curiously. What? Uh -oh. Papa Bear is looking at you curiously. Okay, right. Just... Uh, it's kind of sniffing you about. I can probably communicate in there, being like, I don't want, I have no interest in hurting you or your family. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Shelter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so if you can communicate in there, what would you like to communicate? Say anything. Well, I, I, you're cutting out, so that I'm cutting out. So I. Can... All right. Well, just... I, that's why I'm not responding to shit, right? Because I, I just don't hear anything. Okay. Well, the bear is sniffing you up. Please say something to the bear. I, I did. It said, I'm, you know, me and my friends to show you or your family any harm. Like I said. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, this, this bear is kind of like, uh, it's kind of sizing you up as a mate. Oh. oh well, I tell gosh. it, I tell it, don't fucking do that. <laughs> it's, 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 mm. Look, just with you, I won't hurt your wife and kids, but it, I'm it, not into that. It, 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 he's on board with this, but at the same time, as far as a bear can understand... You know, you, a healthy female, has walked into its domicile and expects this is how you intended this to play out. No. Nope. Okay. Because uh, I can see in the cave because of Darvish, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sort of lead Hidia inside to stand next to uh, Rhiannon. Just hopefully this will smooth everything over if we bring in. Bear is cautious about you. Goes on the defensive. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing Hidia with me. Yeah, all right. I just have no control over her. Uh, Hidia is just like. What are you doing? I, I don't know anything about these bears. It's okay. You just 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 look at the bear. See what the bear does. It's a. I know we've been dealing with giants, but you know I can't find anything <coughs> right now. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this be, the, the bear we've got much better than these bears. Does the I mean does the bear have any reaction to Hidia coming in? Might do, but she has to do like the old hand out to the snout. Oh, looks like it's my friend situation, but you know, she's 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 kind of like, she's kind of she's scared. She's scared. You're asking her to get very close to a bear. Okay, and in that case, um, uh, does she have any of her stuff on, or did she leave all her stuff back? She's got her. Yeah. She's got her weapon. She's got a great axe. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna tell her that everything's gonna be fine. Like we 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 just took out like multiple of, of stone giants. A bear, if it becomes hostile, isn't really going to be a, a threat to the party. I mean, there's there's five of us and one of it. Uh, she's going to go. <sighs> okay, zone. I trust you. And mm -hmm. uh, she's going to step up a bit, and she's going to close her eyes. And Bring her hand out to the bear. The bear goes to eat her hand. No, it just uh, it, it sniffs it about and it it nuzzles its head against it against her hand rather, and she kind of gives like a. <laughs> um, what do I do now? Uh, is that on? What do I do? What do I do? What do uh, I do? Just just stroke it and just make sure it's 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 calm and safe. Uh, okay, okay. Are you sure it doesn't smell fear or anything like that? Sorry, sorry, said again, you cut out. Are you sure it doesn't smell fear or anything like that? No, bears can't smell fear. Are you really sure? Yeah, all they can smell is honey. Rhiannon, you can really smell her fear. <laughs> can you smell the fear? <laughs> can you s Rhiannon, can you smell fear? I can smell the fear and I'm not even there. <laughs> yes, nods. I just threw up a bit of a bear, I can't see it. Nod. Bears can smell fear, but it <laughs> looks like this one is not going to eat you, idiot. Uh, she's just like, ah, don't, you shouldn't have said oh, that, fear. you should have kept no. it a secret so I wouldn't have stressed out like I am right now. 
<laughs> anyway, now the bear is on board, and the bear is like, looks at Rhiannon, he's kind of disappointed that didn't play out how he was hoping for. And then Rhiannon's just... Rhiannon's ecstatic. Mm. And then it's just gonna wander back to the mama bear sure. and cub bear. What's in the cave then? If there we're look is around. a satchel, or yeah, a, a satchel, and inside it there are seven fifty gold piece gemstones. Oh, oh gemstones! Now they're going straight. No, to me. they might be the bears. <laughs> well, they're probably hideous, and I'll have a uh, hideous doesn't know that. I'll take them for. I'll take them, and I'll, that'll become my personal prized possession. What? How, what's in there? Sorry. Uh, there are seven fifty gold pieces worth gemstones. Okay. Um, uh, is that was that all that was in there? Yes. Uh, is that there, is the satchel? Is there is that is the satchel the only thing in there? Yes. Okay, uh, I come back and I hand, uh, I, I let Hidia have a look. I mean, like, do these mean anything to you? Well, they're very pretty, Saron, and uh, she blushes. Uh, she's just like, it's a very kind gift. Thank you. Well, no, well, uh, no yeah, okay, <laughs> you, you, you can you can keep them, Hidia. It, it's fine. They'll go straight out of my inventory uh, <laughs> after I just put them in. Um, you can keep them. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, beautiful. The things we do for love, eh? <laughs> the things Zaram will do just to smash. <laughs> oh, right. exceptional. Uh, it's okay. Um, you, you can take them. I, I found them for you. Well, she's already pocketed them, and she's awesome. more interested in looking around the cave. Cool. Uh, we, we leave. Kind of interested. But she's just like, well, where are you going, Zaram? I thought we were resting here. I mean, are we going to all rest in here? Or no, we, we just leave. We can leave by the rocks, like, not, not bothering us. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, where are we going? I think we're going to go. I, we don't want to bother these bears. Do we anymore. need to level up us? Do we need to level up us? Yeah, we do need to level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we're out, we'll be level up. Well, could we could, yep. Yeah. We, anyway. we, all, we all agree we're going? Yeah. Cool. Well, anyway, uh, you quietly sneak past the rock make me a group stealth check please uh, what, what should i do as bear as a dex check made with bear okay. you take on the physical stats of bear when you are bear okay 18 that's not too bad I am bear. that's not too bad yes you are the embodiment of bear okay that is a 21 Plus a 17, plus a 13, plus a 8, that's a 2, plus a... Ah, oh, fuck! 21, plus 17, plus 13, plus 18, plus 3, divided by the sum, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yep, that's good. Oh, we missed yeah. Yep. We, 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 did we get out of here? No, I did, Alfie. She got the three at the end. Okay. All right. Did, did you do Did you do bear one? Oh, that's one I'm missing because I don't see it. Yeah. yeah. By point four, you managed to escape out of there. Well hey. done. You have now completed Deadstone Cleft. Hooray! You may now we we finally Trevor level behind. up. You did leave Trevor behind. Who cares? We got the, we got um, the bad end, guys. We got the bad <laughs> end. Time to restart this dungeon again. No, nah, the whole campaign. <laughs> we're high, we're going out alive. Yeah. We need to find all the. We need to find all the hidden posters that talks about how all the char children died in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. That is the true way. That's the true ending. That is the way. You guys have left. Deadstone Cleft. Hey. While Yay! you are leaving, uh, you do notice a collection of uh, five other stone giants walking towards some of the clefts up above the mountain range um, that 
also is led by one individual that <gasps> we recognize Felix. as Steelix. Yeah. It's yeah. Felix! Uh, we, they, should just, we should just go. They seem we to be just... climbing up there while it seems like Steelix is leading them to the top of that hill. Or mountain, rather. Is Super Kami Guru there as well? Yeah, he's trailing the back. Cool. Um, meanwhile, now that you're out of the mountain side, Tavu. Yeah? You and your companions hear a booming voice that seems to come gently across the wind. Darling and the Meat Shields. Oh, shit. I am Quadriventi. Oh, fuck. I have been waiting for you to come out of the den of the stone giants. It's bad. Yeah, hello. I, will... I, know, I I've been waiting for your call, mate. <laughs> nice. Um, I seek to test you. I mean you no ill will, Shinten Toru. If you feel ready, meet me at Shining White, and there we shall have our duel. What, just me and you? Your compan It would be unfair if your friends were not involved, but this test is for you and your companions. It is a cool. test that will be set by Tempest himself. Okay. If you don't feel up to it, you are under no obligations to come, and I will think no less of you for it. You're calling me a bitch, mate. I ain't backing down from any challenge, not even from a demigod. There is a gentle rumble in the sky of thunder, and he will go with, My father has been very confused. It's never, it's so unheard of, of a warrior of your sort to have such loyalty to Ilmita when it seems like you have the blood of a thunder catcher, a warrior of Tempest's own right hand. That is what this test is really about. I will wait for you there. And he just See in a bit, mate. <laughs> we hang up on him. <laughs> you do not. He hangs up on you first. We, uh, we, we were going through channel interference. Yeah. Roll for initiative on who hangs up on who first. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm, I'm not interested in doing that. Well, uh, so it looks like we'll be fighting a demigod uh, uh, before we fight another demigod. Well, Hidia that's fun. And Alistair are like, the fuck? Yeah, that happens around us. Zaron, you don't really know about that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly confused. I'm like, I didn't sign up to fight demigods. Yeah, well, uh... Shit. Where to next? Just so we cl clear this up again. He is not a demigod. He is a pure god in development. He is not god. half human, half god. So he is Topper. I'm not sure who Topper is, but probably. Yeah, he's Topper. Okay. Right. He's a Where great we training, get? basically, but he's a full-born god, so he's more like Zamas. Yeah, yeah but, yeah, but he's you a, know, he's a Kai, basically. Yeah, but the Kai's a shit. He is yeah, a Kai but... by dra by DBZ standards. He is a Kai, but not a god of destruction, then. But he can be Shin, the shit. No, oh, Shin's awful. Anyway, yeah, okay, let's carry on. We'll go grab a rest somewhere. Yes. And level up. A uh, question about my monk speed thing. Does, do I just add 20 to my normal movement, or do I add 20 to my current movement? No, no, it goes up by 20 from your normal movement. Yes. Okay, cool. Because it so should I'm say a plus 50. number, which it does. So it should be implied it's plus 20 feet. Okay, so I'm at 50 movement now. There cool. you go. Pretty speedy. Yes. I am the fastest Goliath alive. <laughs> Are we resting now, then? Yes, you yeah, are we'll camping out under a nice open sky. Okay, I'm going to attune to the Horn of Blasting. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm you gonna are make attuned sure I do that to right your now. armor, right? Yeah, yeah I am. Yeah. One. You are attuned to your Horn of Blasting. Mm -hmm. That's two. That's it. No, you can attune to three. No, I mean, that's it, what he's got. Just wanted to check. Can I attune to the stone rune just to see what it does? 
You cannot, because I swear, if anybody was at three magic item attunements, it must no, be. No, I, I gave my I gave my war room to Alfie. Fair. Okay. So I can't, I can't help you shit. wanted a stone rune, right? Yeah. That is part of this crystal ball. Yeah. What can I attune to the crystal ball then as a whole? Yes, this is okay. a package. And okay. even if it wasn't, I'd give you the stone rune free as part of your uh, other thing. Okay. Okay. This is uh, this is pretty serious stuff. I want it mentioned now. Oh God. Okay. Let's see. Firstly, it is a crystal ball, which uh, I will share to players. A wondrous <laughs> item, very rare to legendary. Um. It is able to do some mind reading, detect thoughts, scrying. You can do telepathy, and it has true sight. More with that. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. It had more going on with it than just that, didn't it? Sure, I am omniscient. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, maybe a little water. A sound. The characters in space. It's mostly embedded. Um. Damn, that's pretty badass. Yeah, but there was more going. I'm I'm a bit confused right now. What was the, what was the other room? Was it like a stone room? It was a room. There was a stone room on it. Was it stone? No. Maybe. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I think God. you said it was the stone room. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Aww, you don't happen to have giant translation table, would you? Wait, I do. I have a just. I, I have a handout. Okay. While we wait, let's hear from our sponsor, Dragon Ball Fighters. It's a fun game. <laughs> Made by the glorious Masters Arc system works. Oh, also, bonus sponsor, Paracetamol, because fuck my back. <laughs> what? It soothes pain quicker than Paracetamol. Oh god. So I've been watching a show called Romance on Netflix. It's like a Chinese drama. Oh, uh, yeah. Very good. Uh, yeah. Who's like the leader of a triad gang, but he owns an amusement park. I want to and... see the one where a Kitsune turns into a guy's girlfriend, and then the mafia of the underworld of magical magic girls comes after. You're a bit him. mafia. You... Oh, okay, okay. You you lost me at girl turns into. Dude, it turns into girl. You yeah. had me at Martha, and you lost me again, and they turned into match. It's any fine. This, this TV series is any good. <laughs> yeah, this, okay. this really pretty boy just owns an amusement park and is the leader of this triad gang, and I'm like watching all this drama and pop, but I'm like, what if he owns a Ferris wheel? He owns <laughs> If he owns the amusement park. Star Wind, yeah, that's all I've seen. It's a really weird show. I would recommend it. Anyway, um. Also, plays in Transform anyway, series. That's yes. a good show. Anyway, you are right. It was the Stein rune, and it is tied in with this crying orb. And so I declare some of the stuff going on here. As an action, you can channel the orb's magic to hold your ground for the next minute or until you move any uh, distance. You have advantage on all checks and saving foes against you being moved. You can't be petrified. End. You cast Meld into Stone as a bonus action. You can't do this again after you finish a short long rest. Gift a Stone. You can transfer the Orb's magic to a non-magical item, a shield, or a pair of boots. By transferring this rune uh, there, um, you can then, as a shield, it is now a rare magic item that you can attune to. And while you wear it, you have resistance to all damage dealt by ranged weapon attacks. And if you put it into your boots, Advantage on strength saving foes. So, the person who, who attunes to this also attunes to the stuff that the crystal ball said. In its current state, yes, but I'm going to require it to take up two attunement bits and pieces. Can... If we take it to someone, can we attempt to get it split into two different items? No need. You can do it. You've done it already. Cannot can I split into two different items, into the orb of the stein and the crystal ball? You know the ritual required to move the power of the stein rune. That's a good point. 
Um, it has not got another rune stone as part of your collection, because it is stone. However, um, you can move it into a shield or a pair of boots. And you can move it back out after that as well. Okay, does someone want this in their boots for now? Or a shield. Or a shield. No one uses a shield. Can Okay, you know how you said, like, Rhiannon can't use a shield? Correct. Or... But like, because it's made of metal. They can make it. They can use a wooden one. Yeah, like could they make a little like you know the nipple shield or the brazier, whatever it's called. I can make a shield with yeah a wood. I've got wood carver's tools. Yeah. Mm. Yes, Aaron, you does, could, and I'd allow it. Does anyone okay. want a shield? Or or do you want me to just stick it? Does anyone want to have this thing in their boots? I mean, it'd be useful for me because because yeah. because of because of the advantage of strength saving. Yeah. Alfie would okay. be like, I I can use a shield, and I have. Sure. I rather well, like having my hands free, to be honest. But I can well, yeah, you've shield. got. She's got a ribbon anyway, which is disadvantage on ranged attacks and all attacks within a thing anyway. Oh shit! Yeah. So, oh my god, damn it! All this giant magic, man, makes you strong. Yeah. I'll, I'll put on a character sheet. Just like I need to add other stuff because you haven't put in all the traits. But nevertheless, um, Rihanna, do you want me to make you a shield then? Just put it in the boots because you can go in boots as well. Yeah, boots okay. might be a bit, bit better. Just cause... all right then. Well, I'll I'll do a a, a the transference and stick him into Rhiannon's boots then. It is like a eight hour period, so it's like all of your next waking day. Is it? Yeah, it takes eight hours ritual. Yeah. Okay, mate. The rest of us can just you know have a chat. Yeah. All right then. And does does anyone want to? Anyone else <laughs> it's like want just to? Like breaking in my boots. <laughs> Does anyone else want to uh, attune to the orb? Because it's not really Toru style. Neither mine. Nope. Alfie shows some interest in. Like, I'd say in Alfie. I'd, I'd, the only reason why I wouldn't say Alfie is because she's an NPC. Mm. So I would suggest Rowan, because they are very bardy, very you know knowledgeable. It's true. Rowan. So Max, do you want do you want this? No. Do you want this? Um, no, nah, Hidia, Hidia could just hit things and forget shit. Uh, Max, do you want this crystal ball? Um, let's have a look. Um, it does a lot of cool stuff. See so if you can get it mounted into your robot. Yeah, arm, that way you it makes like a scrying screen. It make, yeah, it makes you omniscient, basically. It, gives you net, it basically gives you Netflix. <laughs> well... God, you. Yeah, Rowan wouldn't mind fancy stuff, but yeah. It, it, it's stuff you could look up with scrying. I know, right? Mm, you can check it, up on all your enemies. Is it yeah. like a free yeah, scry as well? Um, so, I only gave it a, a glimpse, but let's check this properly. So, it just um, says you can just do the scrying spell at a DC 17 with it. Okay. While touching it, you can cast the scrying spell. Uh, variants. The following crystal ball variants are legendary items that have additional properties. Okay. Um, it does not say what degree this is, so I believe it's of the very rare and not the legendary. Mm -hmm. So, this will just be providing... I'm going to look it up in the DMG just to see if it's written any better. So, it okay. actually says well, these come with the legendary one. Yeah. Okay, well, if... Uh... Rowan does take it. They can do detect thoughts with a DC 17 uh, from the crystal ball. As, wait, while you're scrying, so like if you look at someone and try and find out where they are, you can also detect their thoughts at the same time. It's pretty cool. Mm, that's um, serious stuff. Hey, crystal ball. Yeah. There we go. You got true sight as well. That's pretty badass. While scrying with it, and also while scrying, you can, it's basically just like the mega scrying orb. Okay. So it's like the scrying spell amped up to 11. Okay, it is not that. It is just a very rare, which I believe just means it just has the free scrying. Oh, okay. Well, take it anyway, if, if, if no one else wants it, because you, know, you can learn shit. Does the very rare, rare one require attunement? Yeah. It does? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Do you want the scrying oh. orb? If no one else wants it, I'll take it. I don't mind. Because um, I'm only attuned to yeah. one item as far as I'm aware. The Anstrath Harp, so... And the Lightning uh... Bolt Rewind. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. So, and your yeah. private... No. Yes? Maybe your what? loot? 
one of your. No, loops. they said the half. Yeah. The they half. got rid of the loop. They got rid That's of the loop. That's right. You're quite right. Yeah, that that, that DOS loop was <laughs> shy. Yeah, um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of yeah. DOS. <laughs> yeah, I'll oh. take the ball. I'll add it to my sheet and then. Okay. Cool. Just I'll try not to forget I have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll just just type just, it in like into one of your boxes. Yeah. yeah we'll do. Just see how cool this is going to be, you're going to be able to read people's minds. No, that's, nah, the, that's the legendary on one. So yeah, put the... Like no, that's the legendary one. Yeah. Okay. This is... Yeah, Rhiannon, put your orb of the Stein Rune as well in your thing. So has everyone got that in their... in their character thing? In their magic items journal, though? I've written. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right. <sighs> so what... What does what does Alfie get at level ten? Uh, I'll sort that out later. That's right, I'll got open. Okay. Well, in the meantime, now that you guys are back on the old road, it's time for you to figure out what you're going to do next. You can <laughs> teleport to Maelstrom right away. No. Mm. No, not yet. We've got stuff to do. Do we have a quest in Parnas? We do. Yeah. Apparently. We can go down to Parnas and do that, and then did. Does Rowan take take the, the teleportation circle spell? I'm looking into it now because okay. um. Do it, make this walk. <laughs> thing is, like, I, I get a magical secrets at this level, so I can take two spells from any class list. So point. I'm gonna be here so for a while to figure out. And the, look, oh, this hand is amazing. It is one of the best spells. What's this? Big B's hand. Bigby mm. Sand is not worth it. It really is. Take it from someone who knows it's not. It really is. It's really so not. good. It's so good. It's with, really not. With it, be you become a team of from six to a team of seven. Yeah, and Big B has its own initiative. Yep. No, its own initiative. Sorry, you do it and you add a bonus action. Everything you do it as a bonus action. More hit point value. Yeah. But he he doesn't take off your hit points. It just it has the same amount of hit points as you and has a twenty DC. It lasted one round against you. One round. Because you had no hit points. At level 7. We're level 10 now, and Rowan's got about what? I'm guessing Rowan's got about 60 health, 60 HP or something. Uh, 70. There we go. How do I actually level up? Oh, I'll help you. Okay. Good boy. Well, do you Take get anything from kill. the Anon? Um, I have... I can't remember what's called right now. It's like a teleporting thingy. Like this. Ooh. Oh, that's just... That's what I want. Alfie gets divine yeah. intervention. Yeah. Which is useful. I would say Big Beast is more beneficial than Cloud Kill, but it's, uh, it's up to you, Max. Um... I'm, I'm I'm just kind of looking because I like, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like all the other spells that were like we desperately needed back in the day. It's the um, fact that all the things that Big B's what what they can do is a lot. It can lift you up and shit, and it can like you know block a hallway, like, grab something. It's just like multiple things it can do. Hmm. I forget I have a. <laughs> did you did you, did you add on your HP by the way? And carry that, that you roll on your hit dice. Um, uh, oh, but roll, I, I roll, just... a, roll a hit dice. Okay, I just that was just I put myself back up. Well, so... you get ma we got a long rest, so you get back up. Top. Oh yeah, that was stupid. Okay, hang That's on. That's alright. Uh, Don't worry, I uh, did the same thing. Okay, so you're up to 103 now. Okay, that's not too bad. And then what do you want? I think you get like indomitable times two or something. Uh, Probably. Let me have a look. Times two. I don't want that. Do I have to have that? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, you get a you know, you know, you get that the the fucking two weapon fighter. So you get like plus you get basically just complete punches. You don't have to do an offhand punch now. Hang on. So so what do I get? You get another fighting style, and we were saying oh, okay. that you should take the two yeah. the, the yeah. two weapon fighting. So now I just have three armor punches. Yeah. So you can get. I'll get rid of that one. Yeah. Boop. Cool. There you go. Is that all I get? Um, pretty much. Cool. You're only a fighter. Yeah. Alfie gets yeah. another spell slot and oh. divine intervention. Mm -hmm. 
No, I just get blood brutal critical. You've been waiting for it. See how much damage I can Probably take. Not. Probably okay, not, not much. What the? Huh. Okay, you might as well damage. What? You healed someone. No, you. you I think you accidentally <laughs> put minus two into the damage roll because it says yeah. plus minus two. Yeah, it says plus. I guess because my my yeah. strength my strength is minus two. Yeah. It shouldn't go into minuses though. But just zero damage. <laughs> just, just smack him with a stick and nothing I, I have an idea. Don't That's why I that. heal them. Mm. Oh my god. Just lay on hands. Your staff is the stuff of healing. Amazing. Mm. Yeah, I have an idea. Never use that. Yeah. Ever. I mean, I do just have that one. Away. What one do you have? Oh, that's right, yeah, rihanna has got plus three Wand of the War Wizard or something. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's only it's only two um spell attacks that it wouldn't affect the stuff, but Hey guys. What? My rage damage goes up to plus three. Although I have I two. can't pronounce it. Nice one Doyle. Um, Question do you, um uh, we're not quite in that. many spellcasters, that's the thing. Mm. So like, I thought it mm, was necessary to get. But since we're not with the only spellcaster we've come against is like Kregory was a spellcaster. Not Kregory. Kelithika was a spellcaster. What's a face? It, it's a, you can get it if you want, but uh, situational, let's, isn't it? Let's put it this way. Let's say we're fighting Tingle, and Tingle yeah, but... tries his rainbow Kamea vomit shit. You can lull know that. Yeah, but we can take it as well. Hmm. Like it, it, it is a, it is a mix. So it's like. Do you want to take it for the off chance that that happens? Or do you want to leave it and get something else and then we just take it? Because I kept thinking we need counter spell, but realistically, thinking about it now, we we haven't really fought many spellcasters. Plus you've got, like, cutting words. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm a Muppet. Will's right on this one. Yeah, fair. Then yeah, just I'll just take that you think is useful. So teleportation and big Okay, cool. Well, it's again, it's up to you. I also believe well, looking you at, can at, change at, at one spell out for a new one. What? Yeah, I could do that, but um. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, you've got it on the back burner. Like, you, know, you, you could get rid of a third level spell and just put in counter spell. Yeah. Very um, good idea. Very good idea. Without without having to expend either of the new ones. Yeah, I mean, I'll have a look at, like, which third level spells I haven't really been using. Or you could just get rid of another level spell and add it into your third level one. Yeah. Like a second level one you don't use, or a first level one you don't use. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That way you can have, you technically get three spells. Yeah, but it's a net profit of You can swap around no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, you can swap around no matter what amount of spells. Fair. Enthrall, <laughs> if you're doing an evil campaign, I've noticed there's a spell called Enthrall. Where, like, you can make a massive distraction and all your allies can just go nick shit from their shop. Mm. Yeah. I can do the same thing with Hypnotic Pattern. Well... Yeah. Yeah, but it's a bit more obvious, Hypnotic Pattern. It, 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 it's more of a flavour text one in throw, and it's a, a, a lower level as well. Uh, okay, so it's more subtle. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, look at... It's kind of just like going, hey... Look at me. No, don't let him. Look at me. Look at me, everyone. Or is it not a pattern just like... You have just like, got the biggest hard-on for Wiggy Moonbeam, and you just really need to play him, don't you? <laughs> Either Wiggy Moonbeam, or my new my new one, who's a piss of Android 21. Yeah. Called Ven <laughs> Venti Unoa, which is Spanish for 21. <laughs> well, it's a play on words. It's a play on words for the Spanish word for 21. Wow. It's the first time we've had a character with a number for a name. Oh yeah, Trace. Yeah. He was the third. Ah! Ironically, his last sort of thing. I, I see it now. I just realised I was so hot and I've been wearing a hat for the last four hours. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now. Wow. Well, this has all been magical. But hopefully, you guys have sorted out what you needed to sort out. I've already prepared what I'm going to next slow cook in the meantime. And, um, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Should we head down to Parnas then before we do anything else? Yeah. Parnas. Oh. I need to fucking. That's fine. Com 
can't be pierced with his hand because it's not in the. Oh no, it's called arcane hand in the compendium. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it? That's, yeah. that's totally retarded. Yeah, that is a pain. It's it's like it's like for some reason Roll Twenty are trying to avoid copyright on a copyright that they have like rights to. <laughs> mm. I just think they're dicks about it. Like, they, 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 they name things. Like, no, no, they haven't shit. got they haven't got any spells by name like Otaluth's whatever sphere or Tash's hideous laughter or anything like that. It's just called. Hideous laughter, resilient sphere. It's really weird. Yeah, they don't have Mordecai's whatever faithful hound. Or no, it's just called hound. No, no. It's not. It's <laughs> just like Bigby's hand. It's just called hand. Mm. <laughs> oh. No, fair enough. <laughs> oh shit. So yeah, you guys. If you health to... is one hundred and twenty one. Sorry, carry on. Yeah, if you guys want to head to Parnas, you Stop. could a go two days and then one day at Lork and then another four days to Parnast or What's in Lork? Good question. You are no longer a resident of Loudwater so you cannot tell me. However... Would I know? Because I, I wouldn't have been master. able to tell you anyway. No. You're the Would... dungeon master. No, no, he means your character. Yes. No more trees. What... However... What about what about Zaron? Because he was from Zelbros. You don't know much about Lork. Okay. It is shy of 200 would miles away. Goro know about Lork because he would have passed through the area on his way to meet everyone else. No. Okay. That being said, however, Alistair, uh, who is keen to get back to Loudwater, is wondering which way you guys are planning to go. We're going to go this way. And I just don't say a discriminant way we're going to go. Okay. It's going to follow up with which way is that? Yeah. He's crossing his arms like... Look, look, mate. Yeah. Okay. So, coming clean, we're not really welcome in loud water. That's fine. I'll help you get in. Oh, okay. But, like, we do need to go down to Parnas, so if you're willing to just sort of, like, you know, stay with us for a bit. He... You know, keep back a bit in while you're in the danger. Mm, he's not so comfortable with that idea. If you come with us, we'll let you use the airship. We'll show you where it is. Uh, fine, fine. And I'll give you, I wanna, I'll I wanna give you handshake one on this. copper piece. No, screw your copper. I want a handshake. <laughs> I okay. want your word after Parnast. We're going to your airship. Well, not immediately after Parnast, but like... <sighs> after Parnast, yeah. I, I, I can... I may very well be caught up in some kind of crossfire. So... Uh, plus your airship is going to... Look, you're, you're nice people, and you mean well, but... I can't. I don't want to die before I get to see my first airship, and it may well. Quick thing. Where, where okay. did it land? Your bucket. Land. So I just uh, <laughs> airship that I can die at. Was it? Was it Morbrin Shield? It went down at. Yeah. Okay, so we could effectively go Parnas, teleport over to yeah, teleport over to Everland, and then just walk. Yes. You yeah. Want, you mentioned teleporting. We'll do that. We'll do that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Is hey, that alright hey, for you, small man? Hang on. Rowan. Oh. Angry boy. Please, may you tell me where you have the glyph to recreate from Trey's spellbook. Trey's left the the, uh, the, the one that he wrote the in. Trey's left spellbook with you. Hmm. Okay. He did that... give you his spellbook. He did leave you Sansuri's spellbook, it is true. What was in Sansuri's spellbook? Well, it uh, was... Give me a second, I need to pull up my files. I, I can tell you it hasn't got any of the teleportation circles. Yep, but it does have alarm, identify, magic missile. It doesn't matter because Rowan can't learn anything from a spellbook. You can rip out a page and treat it like a scroll. But, oh, okay. Well, you can just wipe your ass on it, you know. You never know when you find it. <laughs> True. That too. Or, or pretend to read it and try to look intelligent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do know that whilst Trace had it, he pretty much edited bits to make it understandable for people. 
for himself. I have an intelligence modifier of zero. Yeah. And Trace's intelligence modifier is 20. He basically wrote the This is Sensory Spellbook for Dummies. Well, good job. I have. Uh, Trace, you, you were not making that for people. You were making that for yourself. Trace is absolutely a self centered, as it was very clear, egocentric, as it was made clear, wizard. And you deconstruct a spell book so that you may copy it into your own notes. Not for the need of anybody else. Wizards do employ the use of arcane, you know, glyphs and what have you for the pure focus that if anybody were to try and steal their very private arcane secrets, they will blow up. Wizards are secretive. They would not do a beginner's guide to gummy dummies. Oh, well. I tried. <laughs> Fair play. But yes, now you do have the capabilities of a teleportation circle, Rowan, and if you have any means of recreating the teleport circles, that's fine. But you don't. You're a harper. You are that's, a harper. Oh, oh, oh. You are a harper. Would they know because they're a harper? They yeah. would not know because they're a harper, but you do know getting in touch with a harper back at Loudwater to then take you back to Moongleam Tower will give you an opportunity you need to copy all of these details back down. That's funny because there's, there's a harper that lives in Moongleam Tower that might know how to help. There's a harper that lives in Loudwater that also can help. Yeah, but there's, yeah, but there's, yeah, a, but there's a better strength. harper. <laughs> In the Moonbeam Tower. Exactly. I remember. I. What? What? You, Toro, you, do you know of a, a, a bard in Moonbeam Tower? What's his name? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I know only know him from his stage name, Moonbeam something. It wouldn't be Wiggy Moonbeam, would it? Oh, it might be. I heard he 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 came oh, into. Oh, you don't went, know uh, Jack shit No, about I know. Wiggy I know. Moonbeam. I know. I know. I would know as Harper. Yeah. Yay. Fuck um, it. Just go for loud water. Hmm, what familiar is? Mm. What's <laughs> you really Wiggy Moonbeam? I know, you know, I know. I've met Wiggy Moonbeam. Listen, you keep really? this up. I'll make him your. Yeah, I met him. I, 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 I uh, if, if his earlier work was a bit him. shit. Is he really as fabulous as they say? <laughs> but he's sort of fabulous. He's I've a heard he's big. even more. I've yeah. not seen him in years. Ever since that one winter <laughs> solstice many years you ago. You met him once. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a big fucking world. He's also in the Plane of Shadows, apparently, where his real home is. But he's come over here and he has wandered about to make a name for himself, while he's also a dickhead. So, yeah. What? When did he go, when did he go to the Plane of Shadows? You told me that's where his home really is. No, it's from fucking Moon... Uh, no, where, where is it? Yeah. No, not, not the Plane of Shadows. You told me he was, like, no, actually no, from an evil family. No, no, I said okay. his mum his mum is a necromancer, but he's not ah. he's a mole master. Right. Right. Are we are we getting this journey on the road? Well, Let's just so I step. review your options, there is a small passage you guys might want to check to climb over the Deadstone Cliffs, saving you two days of travel to then join onto the road. And then you can just go straight down and then down. Yeah, to we'll try that. We'll or try that. You could do you could do 150 miles to Loudwater, or I do not want to go back there. You could do, um, you could do 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 do. You could do 300 miles to Everland through the High Forest. I don't mind where we go. Going back to Loudwater might be hijinks and fun. Oh, when... for fuck's sake, let's just do it. I haven't. When does a uh, Rhiannon get six level spells? Is it next level? Hmm? When do you get six level spells? Is it yeah. next level? Okay, damn. Uh, next level, I just get. Okay, because we could have used transport via plants. Mm. And that lets you go anywhere. Right. Yeah, it lets you go anywhere and you walk through a tree. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make, <laughs> yeah, gonna make a decision. To, by the way, remember to change your spells this morning. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I'm gonna We're look going strong in front of the group. I'm gonna make a decision. We're going back to Loudwater. We need the teleportation. And I want to seem strong in front of you. All right. Uh, why don't totally you think about that? Why don't you? <laughs> yeah. I why I've, woken up with... <laughs> I've woken up with a severe case of morning wood. He's cranky. He just wants to go and get teleported. <laughs> Can we please slam. go to Loudwater, guys? Give me a. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, could it not be intimidation? Oh, well, let's no, make an intimidation then. They're trying to persuade us. 
Neither or, just do whatever. Okay. So, people who want to not feel intimidated by Zaron's morning wood, you know, um, <laughs> you, you can make your counter intimidation now. Or charisma saving throw. Oh, charisma saving throw, I'll go with yeah. that. Rowan just doesn't Actually, know. Actually, no, I can't, I can't win unless I get oh, a crit, nice. so. Oh, Rowan! Beautiful! I've seen bigger. Oh, Rowan, no. you can absolutely weigh into Why did I even fucking Zaron however well, you want to. Well, well we, already were, we already had a dick measuring contest, and I know I won. I'm half asleep still. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, well, I know you've just seen like bigger that. Rowan. Okay, before Rowan, we go on, uh, before we go well, on, I, round hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, Rowan, just I just want to say, <laughs> if you want to chop down Zaron's ego to size, a crit charisma saving throw says you could start off with bitch, I, and then you can just like go on from there if you so chose. Yeah, I think it was in the lands of bitch. You tried to help me, Rowan. <laughs> Rowan, stop it. I know where your hand is buried. Shut up. <laughs> I don't think I want it at this point. But you live. Okay, if we're going back to loud water ground rules. We do not stay, we do not role play, we do not do nothing. We just go in there, get the teleportation, and we go. Oh, so we play Diablo. No, this is D&D. I want to role play. I want to yeah, play Yeah, no, I don't want to sit through it. Oh, uh, okay, then don't turn up for that Goro, session then. Go, 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 go. I literally You are go, go. You are not Trace. That also means you're not banned from Loudwater. Just to put that out there for you. Whatever. Okay. All right, all right. Well, carrying on. Um, this is up to you guys. I won't force you to do anything. I've declared your options, and you can choose which one you prefer to go through. So we can go Parnas Loud War, or just Loud War, and skip out the whole Parnas thing. Indeed. And why are we going to Parnas again? We had that. The reason yeah, why we saying, got the breastplate the Parnas. No. No, it hasn't got a circle. The reason why we've got the the breastplate and the the one of the runes is because there was a dead ice giant which said we could have him as long as we kill his dad. Cloud giant, but semantics. Was he a cloud? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was fine. But yeah, well, it, was, it was sort of like one of our first proper side quests that wasn't to do with a shitty ship. Back at the old farm. Oh, wait, that, that was... That was in the, in the shrine thing, wasn't it? With the... Yeah, uh, yeah in the oracle, yeah. Well, that, that place did... Crumble, so it's not like we can go back and tell him. Well, he is a ghost, so I imagine he probably like. If, uh, he said that if we kill his dad, then his soul can go on. So he's probably just duck in rubble. Yeah. Which is I mean, pretty awful. I mean, like, I don't like Will doesn't really care, but like Toru would sort of care hmm. because he made a promise, hmm. and we did get cool shit from him. Exactly. You did. So, I think we should probably go Parnas, then Loudwater, then get the fuck out of this place we've been at in the last, like, it feels like the last 14 months. I agree. Let's go to Parnas. Yeah. I don't want to kill someone. You've been yes. in that dungeon for a long time. Shit. No, I, I just mean the whole of the southeast. Yeah. I just want to get the fuck out of here. You have a teleportation for Maelstrom anytime you want. Yep. Yeah, but we can do Zauron's thing and the fire giants first. Mm. We've got a bunch That's of stuff to do before we go Maelstrom. Really and hate how too. I both love this game and I milked for free for it. Yeah. Yep. Brilliant. Well, you know, we started playing this before you were. Uh... Yeah, you did. Ah. Right, we go to Parnas. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so I mentioned you could follow the river, take the road, go that way, or you could try to skip this little mountain range. Let's risk it. Let's go for the mountain. What do you yeah. guys think? Mountain pass. Yeah, why not? Oh, I right. like the Hobbit. Yeah. Hang on. What well, does does Goro know if the mountain pass is dangerous or not? Um, does Goro know if the mountain pass is dangerous? As a um, as a Goliath, and you are a Goliath of this region, aren't you? Yes, I believe I am. Yeah. Uh, no, as a Goliath from this region, you actually are going to be somewhat familiar with. Uh, at least the mountainous terrains, and you are acclimated with the mountains themselves. If the guys start, and they do, taking this, like, passing, uh, they will, you will cross it over the course of, you know, one day. 
Um, and you are very able to assist them all with that climb. The sky starts getting like quite thinner from the air. Clouds start to become level with you. You guys can see um, several miles either side. Um, Rhiannon. You with us? Rhiannon. Yeah, hello. Sorry, spaced a bit. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, Vianon, while you're up this high, uh, on top of some of the mountains, you can look down and you can see, um, what appears to be all the several, like, low-lying hills and whatnot. And when you look at these hills, you can't help but feel as though they each are a laying, resting, dream druid, peaceful and at rest. You feel as if that you have um prevented you have you have sorted out the stone giant issues from their tribe to make them safe again and you feel that the spirits that warned you about all this um are at peace and at rest now Uh-oh. excellent fucking love it ah excuse me right what was that ah we, we, we all just cut out. It's great. All I hear is the occasional click clack from yeah, Neil. I oh, I was sorry. I'm playing just... Dragon Ball. What the fuck? You gotta be. No. Come on. I, I just didn't hear anything at all. Oh I my didn't really god. Hear right. That's why I started playing Dragon Ball because I thought I'd lost connection. Don't play Dragon Ball. Play D&D. Anyway. Um, Rhiannon, the uh, sleeping forms of your dream druids are all resting around the Grey Peak Mountains, or it appears that way, as each hill sort of seems like the mossy outcropping of one of your dream druids. They, you feel as though they are peaceful and at rest. I cut out, didn't I? Yeah. Fuck! Literally. Fuck. Right. You feel like your dream druid friends are at rest because yes. you avenge them. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Avenged. <laughs> they are avenged. Also, I don't know where the fuck they are, but I've avenged them. <laughs> they were people you knew. Vianon, there is also something else. You feel oh. uh, much calmer, and you feel much more at peace. You feel like you're more in touch with the Feywild, like you were before all this kicked off. And I am going to award you the following. You may influence... Any creature's psyche, so long as they have an intelligence score or they have a mental stat above five, and you can, and you know, they understand one language, and they are either asleep or can be put to sleep. You can only do this while they are asleep. Okay. How you affect this person's mind can be anything you want. So it's basically like, like a mass suggestion spell when they're asleep. Yeah. So like, if I went back to roll, and like like inception it. powers, or like a geese spell or whatever, however you say it. Uh, geese. Maybe it's pronounced geese. And I was like, there we go. I was, and it because it was asleep. I could influence it to be an ally thing. Who does? Yes. Yes. Right. That's it doesn't. Cool. It's not limited to um, suggestion or anything like that. Its implications can be far more impressive. However, it is limited to one creature, at least over one night. That's fair. That's pretty badass. It That's also, fucking awesome. It also does require you to go back into that dreamscape, and also can only be done once every five days. Okay. And that's it. We also need to try and get you more attuned with that fucking boar at some point. God, yeah. yeah, you are not sure how you feel with that at the moment, Rhiannon. Um, bef- when you had seen that, and when the ball acid, like, brought itself up and out from you, uh, you had felt, like, some lycanthropy like, of, like, a wereball come over you. However, during this whole thing, these ball-like qualities that were barely brought out have gently recited back. Hmm. 
to the, they've gone back. Could we like go visit like some sort of cleric of nature or or another dream druid to try and find out how she can deal with it? Yeah. Very possible. Uh, that may take some time. Yeah. The dream druids are scattered into hiding now. Yeah. Okay. Like hiding in sight. Yeah. yeah no, might, there no. might be might be two two halfling dream druids that's like in a trench coat pretending to be an elf. <laughs> you yeah, never no. know. Something does come I to mind though. That. If you are thinking about getting some otherworldly help, you might consult with one of the fairy queens and kings mm. of the Fey Wild. Isn't that Tingle? That is not Tingle. That's what Tingle I hopes he could be. Where I thought he, he was a fairy queen. He is not a fairy queen. He wants <laughs> nothing more than to be a fairy queen. <laughs> if, if, if it was Tingle, I would be like completely, completely fine just never learning anything about it. Just like, I never want to see that man ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that man thing ever again. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> He just, he, there's just something about him that strikes fear into me out of the heart. She doesn't know why. <laughs> just, yes! He's just, 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 just thinking that Tingle might be that guy that, she, that Shaira brutally gave brain damage to is just quite funny. <laughs> no wonder he's so fucking ugly. Exactly. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, but no, Rhiannon, you do feel that. Um, Given your druidic senses, if you did want to pursue this further, you could... <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I thought you'd say that, Rowan. But yeah, you feel as though you could pursue this in the Feywild, and while you cannot conjure up a extra planar gate, or, you know, a teleportation to another plane, these gateways do appear naturally in the world. And if there was such a place that would house one, you know, and you're very confident, you could find one in the high forest, or maybe somewhere nearby your old dream druid alcove. Or right. enclave. What level plane shift? Is that eight? It's a high spell, I know that. Mm. Yeah. If only you had a horizon walker ranger, which are pretty cool. Mm. Cool. Here somewhere else. Anyway, it's just such fucking hell. <laughs> oh, do we still have them pigs with us, by the way? Oh yeah, you always got those pigs with you. Cool. They're just always right, boinking make... and squeaking and trotting about. They're just about. there. They're yeah, they're just... <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're they're just they're make a... They're the meat. We're the shield. Yeah, your tr right. Rowan's Trestium looks at them nice. hungrily. Hidia sort of now takes care of them, while Alistair is like huffing behind, trying to keep track of Alfie, because while Alfie is, you know, a halfling and Alistair is a gnome, Alfie has been walking about for quite a bit. Alistair has been stuck in a bag for several weeks. <laughs> Him and walking has been pretty difficult. Ah, oh, <laughs> the tiny <laughs> rope that could have been. He just wants his little squid friend. You could, to, yeah. you could go to the ocean and pick up a squid and get a fish tank. And... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but a squid can't talk. I know. Plus, he would have been really yeah. cool too. But he would have been. Imagine that. I just like, <laughs> it's like, what was his name again? Trevor. Yeah. Trevor, go, and I'll just throw him into battle, and then someone casts enlarge on him, and he just like lands, just like. Rrr. Yeah, yeah, would have been it. cool. <laughs> that would be cool. badass. Plus all the tentacle references that could have been. He will be there. He'll be there waiting for you. you know? Yeah, well, there's one ally we can always go back and get. Yeah. Who? The Roper. Oh, I thought you were being serious. Yeah. What you should do is you should fashion him with skates. And then he can, like, rope <laughs> his way. You know what he can do? He can, like, slingshot his way. Oh, God. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so sad. It is so sad. Why <laughs> oh, did you bring that God. up, Seven? Oh, that's what uh, Trevor's going to be. Oh, He's going to be forever waiting in that cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. and you've cleared out all of his food and his caretakers. Oh, no. Well, no, no, because now he's got plenty of giants to eat. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Mm. 
And then there's three bears which don't have anyone to look after them anymore. Ah. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> One cave cub. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, let's get to Parnas then on that Let's not think. Yeah, let's not think about it. It's uh, also from this uh, like vantage point that you see far off into distance. In fact, really not that far. It is off in the distance, but you can see, after copping over the mountainside, the vast, endless expanse of the Anarok Desert, past oh, a body, uh, dodgy marshland of the Fallen Lands. Yeah, I'll just point to Toru, uh, to, uh, with Zara. I point to myself. <laughs> yeah. I'll point at Zara and be like, that's where we need to go eventually. Oh, cool. Because Why? that's where a blue dragon comes from. Mm, fair play. I kept up with Trazer's note. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he was uh, he was looking into this blue dragon that me dad was riding. Blue and dragon. uh Yeah. Mm. And then I turned to Alfie and say, Alfie, all the land that the light touches will be yours, Cinder. <laughs> they should make a film with that. I yeah. should, yeah. No. But, okay. Right. Uh, but she will be like, oh, um, So she will go. Can we never go there? Um, wait, Toru, what about yep. the dark places? We must never go there. <laughs> Cardiff. Uh. Cardiff, yeah. No. <laughs> Cardiff. Yeah, brother. All right. As... Cardiff is not that bad. Okay, Barry Island. <laughs> it's like, with a meme that was made by like Swans Uni. Like, except I think it might actually have been cut and it said swan. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a better joke because I'm from. <laughs> oh, bloody, bloody Welsh. You could have just said the Romva and you would have been fine. Murtha. Murtha's worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So, yeah, you guys continue on your way down this pub portion of the uh oh there's a lonely moor over here i feel sad is, yeah. right beside the forgotten forest oh that is a that is a sad area oh my god sorry so uh, goro's just gonna pick up a conversation with alfie okay so obviously he's from a somewhat religious order okay so he's like so what's being a cleric like uh she she just goes Whew, uh, boy, uh, that's a that's a tough one. Okay, well, uh, I certainly never expected to be getting involved in Jackson. all of this stuff. I was, uh, I was going to be just nice and quiet in a church, really. Um, but being a cleric, I suppose it's. <sighs> I can't put it into words easily, but. But it... you you feel it in. Here and Goro taps his rib cage, is like saying you feel it in here, like the the good that you do. Uh, she she just like no over over here, dear, and she like points to your heart where you were just like you. She presumes you weren't you know knowledgeable enough to know where your heart is, so she gently corrects you. Yeah, general thing, but yeah. Mm. Uh, and but she's just like. I mean, that's really cheesy and so on, but it is the case. It's, it's, it's even... nice, because you know that we have a purpose, you and I. Oh. It's, it's good that we can do something like that, and I'm I'm really happy that I get to walk a similar or a parallel path with lots of different people. Yeah. God, it's like the fucking opposite of Troy, isn't it? Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, really feeling that. <laughs> It's almost like somebody didn't want to be moody anymore. Um, yeah, it's, it was like someone didn't want to roleplay a chronically depressed wizard who hated himself. Yeah. yeah. We won't get into that again. But yes, Alfie will be saying, um, Alfie will be saying like, uh, well, honestly, it's a. Uh, I'm not so <laughs> selfless as that, really. It, it, I don't want to admit it, but like, well, it's sometimes been your halfling and. Yeah, you only have your family around, and you know it's war deep is pretty huge. You really do need like somebody for you, honestly. And I didn't have like a, a lot of people. Like like I was nice to a lot of people. People were nice to me, but there were there were a lot of times where I didn't know who I could really depend on, honestly. I mean, I I, I don't remember what happened, but like it was 
It was winter at some point, and my family were like assaulted by some random yelling mm. creature. Um, that was pretty scary, and I tried to be, I tried to be really nice to whoever that person was. I I can't remember anything, but you know, I, I just remember wanting to do better, but I was all alone doing it. You know, um, it was just my family and me and. If I wasn't around my family, I was kind of at risks. And when I when I stepped out for a little bit, I kind of like I I wanted to wonder and when I did that, I kind of got tied up of all those orcs that just picked me up and if it wasn't for the feeling of security knowing that I had a a big guy look after me, I I I probably would have just Broke on the spot, honestly. And she kind of Hello. looks very downcast and stuff. Gory's just gonna put his, his hand on her shoulder lightly, and he's just like, uh, I not really had a family per se. I've got lots of brothers, but we're not related by blood. And I think there's nothing wrong with having a, that feeling of, you know, having someone having your back. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I mean, don't get me wrong, um, Toru and the others are super amazing. I, um, oh, it was almost worth being kidnapped by the orcs, to be honest. But, I was gonna laugh at that. It's just quite... <laughs> uh, you know, she has, a, she has a chuckle, but you can tell she means that sincerely. Um, yeah, he's, he's like laughing at the. Yeah, there you go. You can see the lighter side yeah, of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, not being a prick about it. Yeah, but like she's she's a touch more uh, feeling the mood. She's a bit more uh, opening herself and in f- a full honesty of you. Um, and she's uh, just being like, yeah, but like sometimes, you know, friends this good, you and we are fighting giants. I, I honestly will make sure nothing happens to them to the best of my ability, but I mean, given Toru's case in particular, I feel like that's really out of my hands. And I'm worried that if I lose someone as amazing as, you know, Toru, then I'll be all alone again. And that's where having, you know, a god like Ilmata be around and feel like I work with him and that he's by my side. It, it really does help me get through some of those serious thoughts. You know? Sorry. I think I, I do. I, I get where you're coming from. I mean, relatably, I, I struggle to meditate some days. I struggle mm-hmm. to clear my mind of all the, the violence that I see. You don't seem like a very violent person. <laughs> I'm... My job at the temple is I'm the guard of the North Gate. And... Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Are you iron fisting me right now? North Gate, not iron fist, but it's just a generic thing. There are always four gates within temples. Okay, that's pretty cool. Please go on. And... (sighs) Me and the other guards... We would sometimes get bored and compete when there wasn't anything else to fight. Uh, Those fights are hollow. I can't help but enjoy a good fight when I know I shouldn't. Because that's not the way... It's not the way of the monk. Oh. But Torm teaches us that waging war is something you have to do sometimes. Warriors are born to fight. And that means there are things that you have to fight. Doesn't make it easy, but it makes it somewhat more right. We fight for what's right. (laughs) Don't ruin this. Let him have his nice roleplay moment. Um, But uh, no, Alfie is like... um, She's just listening. She she doesn't have like a, a response. Uh, she's at a loss for words, but uh, eventually she does come up with. Um, I I guess we haven't really spoken much since you showed up 
have it's strange. <laughs> Two days ago. Yeah, really. <laughs> um no, really. Um well it has uh, this I... has been this is happening across a couple of days travel as well. So oh, she, okay. yeah, so she is also like um yeah, I mean I, I don't know. I, I find it very easy to talk to you, um Goro. Um so you know, even if you're a violent person, the you, I think you are a very peaceful soul that, you know, easy to confide in. I appreciate that, Lady Alfie. He does a, a like a martial arts bow. Oh, and she's just like, ah, no, 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 no. I, I don't need a bow, please. It's fine, it's fine. I don't need a bow. I appreciate the thought, though. Please, please get up. It's, it's not on his knees. It's just like a, a hat fist into the palm kind of thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Even then, she she's still like embarrassed about it, um, uh, but she's just like, <laughs> you know, thank you. Uh, I'm honestly, are they always like that though? Who are the the team? How do you mean? Well, how can I describe them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's call them a colourful bunch. Master Zen would call them a colourful bunch. Um. Well. And in the whole while, while they're describing a whole lot of shit that describes them as being absolute, completely insane people, we'll end the session there with Parnast Insight.